Oh, welcome to Six Sides of Gaming. We are here tonight with a very special delivery of a game. Star Trek Attack Wing Alliance. Star Trek Alliance. It's been a long time in the making. For those of you that are new to Six Sides of Gaming, we have a whole bunch of cool programming. We'll get those preliminaries out of the way now. First, I'd like to introduce our tech in the corner here, Adrian. Hello. Hello. And uh, he will be answering questions, typing away, giving you guys our schedule, any information on any of the cool programs and things that we run. Six Sides runs all kinds of gaming, including Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadowrun, board games, miniature games, dice games. But today is our board game night, but we're focusing more on a miniatures game. We have a very, very special guest. If you are fans of Star Trek Alliance, then you might have seen or felt the sting of losing against this fella right here. World champion, Joseph Vanderyacht. Oh, he... Captain, gl I'm glad I found you in this temporal storm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. We should join forces. Wait a second, I'm picking up a transmission. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh no, there's, another, there's a six sides transmission happening. What, what's happening? Oh no, it's Lacutus of Ben. <laughs> Resistance is futile. <laughs> you will become Borg. <laughs> now that's it. That was oh. deliciously terrible. That was <laughs> so I was trying to make it as hammy as like. No. He asked us if he had to execute Order sixty six yeah, to come in, and we're all like, I don't know. We all we all basically <laughs> wanted to vent him into space. So um, Ben's here tonight to uh, to talk a bit about. So first off, he's never played Attack Wing, so this is a great opportunity for him to check this out. If you've never played Attack Wing, well, welcome to your, what will be your first experience, the first hit. It is free. Uh, but if you have played Attack Wing, which I'm assuming the majority of the people watching tonight have and are excited about looking to see what this game is, you're in for a real treat because you get to see us play through the first couple of scenarios of Star Trek Alliance. We're actually going to go through it bit by bit, showing the setup, talking a bit about the game as we go along. Unfortunately, we did have a special treat planned for you tonight, but it did not work out technically because the tech gods are being a pain in the butt. We were supposed to Skype in the lead design on this, Josh Dirksen, whose name is, you know, flavorly on the box, uh, who was going to roll from his side uh, to, to roll for the AI tonight. But unfortunately, we can't seem to get the system up and running and, and you know, the show must go on. But we will try to get him on for the next time when we run uh, missions three and four. And we'll do a tech talk then. But until then, we're ready to get started. This is kind of exciting, actually, because... My design process on this was minor and uh, was released quite a bit early in the process of this game. Um, so I actually don't have as in-depth knowledge of how to set and play this game as any of us do. But this is a great opportunity for us to actually get into the guts of this game and show you just how easy it is to play. That's not a sales pitch setup. It's real. It's real. Other thing we're going to do tonight is we're going to give away an old school USS Enterprise. Oh. Original. Original. Tough to grab those. Tough to days. grab these things. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a an old school pack from 2014, and uh, good news is is this is donated by the Round Table, which is the local gaming store here, where you can also pick up your Alliance system if anywhere in the world really. If you can't seem to get a copy, we're getting many because I know a guy. So we're <laughs> gonna give this away, and Adrian in the chat will tell you how you can win this later. He'll also remind me to give the keyword, but we'll do that later. So yeah. in the meanwhile, I do have a question for you. Yeah. I am not a very knowledgeable Star Trek person. I'm not a very knowledgeable Star Wars person, but I do know little facts and things. So I have to ask, that Enterprise, is that Enterprise A, B, C, D? That's a C, I believe, isn't it? No, no. buddy, <laughs> A, B, C, D, or E. This that's, is the, that's OG. the original. Yeah. OG. That's the Scotty. That's Kirk, that's it's, Kirk shit. It says OG. No. <laughs> it's the Enterprise OG. Okay, so, uh, laid before you are multiple camera angles, I believe. What do we have for angles tonight? Uh, we've got this yeah. one. So we've got uh, the main angle of the players. We've All right. We've got a closer uh, up on the table, nice and wide. Uh, we've got a top down, which is... Uh, that's great. We, might, we nope. might adjust that a little bit. No, that's fine. We've got that, and then we've got a close up, which I will adjust in a minute because that Star Trek is far too tall. Oh, yeah, I can make uh, the ship shorter. That, uh, that miniature, rather. I can make that uh, shit. Well, you can leave it. I can move a camera, too. Check it out. The only reason why we're showing this off, we're only showing this off because this is an old school Akira. Yeah. But the reason why we're showing it off is because we've modified it for all of you who love Trek Tech. 
You can bend it and turn the it. The lens flare is accidental, but I'll take it. Hey, the lens flare it does is fit. <laughs> the lens flare is very fitting. Yes. All right. Now I can say this too. I have never defeated a world champion in anything, so I'm looking forward to tonight. You've never defeated no. a world champion? No, no, no. I barely get to fight them. Huh. There are few. <laughs> there, are, there are a few who have. I would it's Tom, at least Tom, one person at the table has. Tom, sorry, has one, Tom. Has one per has any has anyone ever? <laughs> <laughs> Were you were you the first world champion, or did you defeat someone to take the? I uh, defeated someone to take ah, the title. Ah, so, so one yeah. at the table. All right, one at the table. I've never been a world champion. In fact, I don't think I've ever won a tournament before. Um, but I did, however, have a very engaging battle with Captain Joe here. I did we? I was so long ago. <laughs> There's proof. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke that we will never let down. It's but, actually quite a quite a cool uh, thing. We will. We'll get to showing that later. But for now, uh, two things we're gonna do here. One, we're gonna show all the components that come in the box as is. And we're gonna show you guys the, the ships, the components, and then we have a couple of upgrades that I had because everybody who's a, uh, an Attack Wing fan usually buys all the, the colored, the colored uh, templates and, and everything else. So we're gonna pimp it a little bit, but we are gonna show you the majority of uh, components that come with. If you haven't seen the True Talk on Monday, uh, I recommend going and checking it out when we unbox this so you can see some of the quality of the components. Uh, this particular time tonight is we are going to just dig in and play this game. So, what do we got here? We have all the components laid out according to the mission parameters. But before we go ahead and do that, we should probably tech our ships out or at least follow the setup instructions. Yeah, do we want to look at the general rules or the yeah. campaign rules? Let's, see, let's look at the general setup here. So, so when you setup. get your game, you're going to go through the alliance, you have rules of play, you're going to set up, there's a component overview, uh, there's something that breaks down the card, anatomy, all that stuff, you can go through all that. Then there's the player setup. So we're going to do the, uh, a quick rundown on the player setup so you get a chance to see what you're getting into here so that when we play the game, it's not just like, well, what are they doing? How did they do that? Why is that different than regular attack wing? So number one is to choose your faction and player card. Well, we're only really choosing one faction at this point because there is only one faction to choose, and that is the Federation. So we choose our faction, we, and uh, we get to write our name in the captain field. We're not going to damage these cards, though. But, uh, <laughs> but we get to choose our names, and we get to put them in our... Uh, uh, campaign card? Yes, the campaign card. So let's see here. Do we have a? Let's get a little close up on that guy. Show people what that looks like. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm also gonna jump in and change the focus let's on that camera. On this guy here. Yeah, we'll put it on this guy here then. How about we do that? Uh, yeah. We can will it? it. What, will it show or will it make everyone dizzy? Uh, <laughs> still, still does not work. <laughs> still does not no, work. No, it's also in the middle. Okay. I'm fix the focus. Sounds good. So the campaign card is important because there's six <laughs> missions in this game, and you'll be able to go through each of the missions and uh, upgrade, level up your character. You'll be able to build more stuff onto your ship, and uh, it's it's exciting. So you spend your starting experience points. Now, Joe, you've got a bunch of cards laid out. By uh, elite talents, which I believe we don't have to worry about till Correct. we upgrade a little bit. That's right. And then crew, weapon, and tech. So when you play competitively, you are used to building how? Uh, in a general sense, mm -hmm. uh, there's a limit on the points you can put on a ship. Yep. Um, you can put upgrades from any faction on any um, on a ship of any other faction unless it specifies otherwise. And you have a lot of different ships uh, to choose from. To choose from. Yeah, yeah. And so this setup is a little different because it's basically what do they call it? Faction pure. I guess that would be a... The, like we're not going to have Picard on a Borg. That's ship, right. right, yeah. Or Quark, sh Quark Shuttle coming out of the back of the Excelsior. This, Quark's treasure. <laughs> this, gives, uh, this gives your choices a little bit more weight in the sense that even though there's a million choices in the competitive head-to-head -head game, people tend to gravitate to the same most powerful cards, right? Yeah. You don't have the option here, right? Right. It's, it's an Excelsior and it's an, and it's an Akira. It's not... A Borg Sphere. It's not, uh, you know, the Hathaway or whatever the best ship in the game happens to be. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so we got to spend starting experience points. Uh, we do get uh, an allotment of starting experience points to then build our crew. And did we want to, what do you want to play today? Are you playing the Excelsior or the Akira? Uh, I think I'll stay away from the Akira. Well, it's given me so much pain over oh, the years. Oh. 
We, we must have had a past experience with the Akira versus the Excelsior, but we'll let that esoteric joke die out for now. Uh, all right, so uh, Ben's going to be rolling for the AI for us so that we actually have some threat. And if you've seen Ben on some of our other programs, he's usually the GM or some storyteller or something that's trying to kill the party. So this this works out. This works out. It's fitting. And yeah. you get a chance to, to check this system out. Oddly okay. comfortable. Yeah. So let's see here. Uh, so we have to spend our experience points and build our ships. So while you're doing that, yeah. I'm just going to take a look. We have these lovely little asteroids here on the map. They were randomly placed. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to follow some directions on it, but other than that, they're randomly placed. Now you have some kitted out asteroids that I'm just going to put into the field here. Let's put that oh, nice. Here. Yeah, we, there we go. We got some, some 3D to add components a to show bit off. Of art to what we have. Now these we, do not come in the box. Just a little, or these templates do. Now these are actually quite nice. They're really thick, and I really like them. They're very, the art works nice on them. They actually feel pretty good, so I'm well. I shouldn't say I'm surprised, but I'm impressed by the quality. Well, the the quality has improved. Would you say compared to like other versions of Attack Wing that you've you've purchased in the past? They say that they've maybe brought it up a notch. Oh yeah, these are definitely thicker, and the card uh, the cards themselves are um, better stock. Laid out, yeah, better stock, and the the pictures are. Are better too. Yeah, Josh did a great job brightening them up. Good job, Josh. We miss you. I know he's watching right now. <laughs> we love you, Josh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, XP, you can choose one row in the upgrade section of your player card other than skill and shade in the leftmost box. Um, so we would be shading in the boxes to uh, for leveling up. But for, for this particular campaign, we'll, we'll just go by memory. Um, you must spend all of your starting XP by shading the boxes. It cannot be saved for later. For example, Ben. Actually, has Ben in here. Does it? Yeah. Oh, really? Ben spends six XP to shade two boxes in the weapons reputation row and four boxes in the crew reputation row. His ship can now have two squad points worth of weapon upgrades and four squad points worth of crew upgrades, limited to the icons in the ship's upgrade bar. Actually, that sounds a lot like what I would try to do. <laughs> so my Akira class has two, two weapons and one crew slot in the upgrade bar, which means that's what I get to, to do, I believe. Okay, so you pre-built some ships earlier, so we should go through to see well, what... Well, we were looking at them, and the, I guess we've got to decide what we're going to do here. The logic. Let's go through some of the cards. So we have six experience points to spend Correct. Uh, out of the gate. You are going to be weapons and crew. All right. The tech you're not going to have to worry about. So let's see here. Uh, if we lay overhead here, we can show some of these cards. Yeah, it should work. How does it look? Good? Can't really read them, but you can see them. Well, we'll read them up. So, photon torpedoes. We've got two of those. Uh, and those are the reprints from the new starters. Those are worth getting right there to get two of them, especially. Absolutely. Uh, we've got overcharged weapon phasers, which is interesting. Uh, which basically, uh, so we were talking about this on the True Talk. So this is the range. So overcharged phasers basically lets you have your your uh, range one advantage from range two. And it's interesting that it is only range two because if it was one and two, then you'd get an additional die for being close. One, yeah. Very balanced, very balanced. Uh, dorsal phaser array, uh, which is uh, basically uh, we can fire in any direction, which is obviously very useful. Uh, quantum torpedoes and full spread, which I was talking about on the True Talk. It's disgusting. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's just like I'm going to discard my torpedo, my photons, but I'm going to basically just. Alpha Strike or Wreck, anything that I hit in the area. And we've got Enhanced Targeting. Uh, now, according to this, basically, we have to figure out, I can't, obviously, I don't think I can buy Quantum Torpedoes or Full Spread right off the get-go. But I, I have to spend points based on that. For Crew, let's see here. We've got Operations Officer, End Phase, spend a uh, evade token, uh, put, uh, spend an evade token beside this ship, and I can repair a shield. I love shield repair mechanisms uh, because it's like shields are such a um, integral part it's, of well, staying alive. It's true, but I mean like when you start taking damage to the hull, man, it's like that's when things get scary. But when you got shields, there's always that, that barrier of safety. Uh, science officer, place two scan tokens beside this ship. Ooh. I'm going to get in your face again for just a second. Oh, fixing. I have a request to uh, throw the cards up in a... In a better view, so we're going to see if I can do that live. Sounds good. I'll put uh, this token down right there. Tactical officer, to uh, disable this card when attacking, reroll any number of attack dice, which is pretty standard. And my buddy Riker, uh, place one battle stations token and one evade token beside this ship. So very good action economy. 
for, for the action that you're using for that crew. It's afraid to have Commander Riker. So. So in my most expert opinion, yeah. I think that you want a 360 weapon on your Akira that can only fire. So the dorsal tonight. phaser array is a three cost. Uh, see here, so with how, so I get to spend six experience points to shade in. So you do three in weapon. Three in weapon, yep. And then we would look at a three point crew. Or... So what do we got for crew there? Um, the scan tokens are pretty good because it reduces their shields. And we know, we know that they've got two shields. So, any, uh, sorry, uh, evade. So we know it, it, they have two evades. So they're quite dodgy little suckers. So it might be nice to have some scan tokens there. Uh, we've also got Helmsman, which uh, Helmsman is uh, when the ship's maneuver is revealed, disable this card. Uh, and it is act in the activation phase. And increase or decrease the maneuver speed by one, even if the result in a maneuver does not appear on the ship's maneuver dial. Which is really, really good if you're talking about trying to be agile enough to get in and out of arcs. Well, and it'll give you hard ones. Hard ones are great. Yeah. I have a hard D one right now. This game, <laughs> <laughs> this game is great. Not so big an X-Wing, but uh, the attack wing, you don't see them too often. No, you so really, really don't. Those yeah. are the two I would You recommend. think Helmsman? Yeah, Helmsman right. and the... Where'd that guy go? Dorsal phaser. All right, let's go out. What are you going to pick? Well, I think uh, given Just... this uniform and this beard, I'm going to spend five on... <laughs> getting this commander, <laughs> and then I can't save my points, which is what Josh was clever enough to prevent me from doing that, so I would shade in a tech uh, to plan for mission two, I think. Excellent. So five into crew, one into tech. Okay. So no weapon upgrades or anything. Now what does Riker do again? Sword he is one action, and he lets you place a battle station token and an evade token beside the ship. So in a sense, he... Uh, he gives you two actions for the price gotcha. of one. Now, so, I, so uh, Armored Gear 7 uh, said, P.S. there are recommended ship builds outs in the uh, special rules. Not that you would need them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, on the note, like my experience in this is pretty much a 24 minute tutorial video on YouTube this afternoon. Um, so I do understand that the battlefield ones are the ones that, or battle station ones are the ones you flip. You can only use it as attack or defense and it Yes. So these little guys here, basically? Yeah, ba it? battle stations can be used uh, to reroll uh, battle station. Oh, I thought uh, they just made them hits. Yeah, you spend that token, and then it turns all of these into either this. Oh, it's all of yes. them. Or this. Oh, I thought it was one for one. And so that's inter good to know. Yeah. And it interacts with things that say interact with And I'm sure everyone things. watching already knows these things. I'm just trying to figure out how to do the force lightning. No, this is good. The force lightning? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's easy. Yeah. You just got to get Vader on one of those uh, Akira wings, and we're good. Um, yeah, so okay, so we did that. So we set up, we spent our experience points. Now, uh, campaign set up. So we get to choose a campaign to play, right, in this stage. I mm -hmm. mean, you're noticing that the word's a little more like choose a campaign to play. That might be some foreshadowing. We don't know. Well, maybe we'll leave that one for the, uh, for Q to figure out. Um, <laughs> uh, and so then we are going to set up the mission page anatomy. And Joe over here has our first mission, which we've set up on the board. We've pre-set up on the board. So our first mission. Uh, the briefing. Do you want to do the briefing? Would you like thing? to read the briefing? Sure. All right. You have to read it in some sort of Klingon character voice, though. <laughs> well, that might be beyond me. No, the Klingons have not, are not <laughs> in the halls of Starfleet yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, Stardate uh, 49427.7. Congratulations on your promotion, Captain. With the discovery of the wormhole into the Gamma Quadrant, and the results of our first contact with the Dominion last year, Starfleet Command has decided to form a special task force. You and several other captains have been chosen for this assignment. Your objective today is to patrol the far side of the wormhole and learn what you can of the Gamma Quadrant. If you encounter Dominion ships, your orders are to stand your ground, but avoid escalating the situation into a major confrontation. Good luck. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna escalate the hell out of this. Oh, situation. we're escalating the this hell. Just sounds like the D and D campaigns that we run too. You guys are kicking the door into my house. That's what yeah. I'm hearing. Like you're just walking in. Just <laughs> you, you started it, man. It you shouldn't like... have built a house. 
<laughs> so um, I'm gonna. So there's uh, some ship setup still I have to do. Uh, but while we're doing that, we've got a lot of these old models here. How are we doing for the? Uh, I'm just gonna adjust this camera, and I think we're actually. Gonna oh, go. we've got a close up. So you keep doing nice. your thing, and I'm gonna. Uh, I was gonna say we could show the models and how the models have have uh, grown a little bit while I actually. Where are the uh, the number token things again? We're gonna I'm gonna pimp out the ships a little bit. So if you can grab me uh, one, two, and three. Now in the in the normal attack wing, you can put them on the front and the back. I I usually like to put them only on the front. So this is one and three. Yeah, one and three, perfect. So we have to actually stat out our ships here. Oh, I see where they go. They go in and these little slots here. Now one of the thing, one of the little tricks I have because when you start pushing them in like this, then you can start, I guess they can potentially wear out. One of the things I like to do is I like to uh, put scotch tape on the bottoms on the bottom. and they slide in and out easier and are less uh, destructible. Mind, mind grabbing that little ship over there, please? Okay. Uh, We've purposely left some of this set up for stream because we want to be able to show you some of the setup for those of you that are fairly, fairly new to it. Now, one of the things I liked about this, again, not knowing the base game, is during the setup, they actually had us put numbers on the board to show us where things were going to go. Yeah, these aren't the, the actual numbers setup. to do so. Um, so if you see these numbers on here, it actually tells us various things happen at various points. Yeah. I don't know how much it will occur in this mission, but it was a really nice way to get things up quickly. I actually don't think these tokens are Sorry, for here. Regan. No, it's just, it's just uh, on the picture. On the picture, yeah. 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 So we know that that's one. So we're going to use this token here, because what we need to do is we need to get those Jemadar cards over there. And we'll put those down once he gets the close up. Let's test that out. Yep, let's test that what, out right what now. What was that? A one? There's, uh, there's I've got a one. There's plenty of extra. Oh, there's plenty of extra ones. Perfect. We'll do that then. So, okay. Uh, just just uh, uh, over a little bit, and I'm gonna rotate this. this. Uh, if you just give me one second. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Sorry. sorry. I'll leave it right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna flip uh, I see. So, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take this opportunity, opportunity to let people know, that even though I had a hand in this project, project and uh, we'll, we'll tell the story about how that project came to be at some point throughout the play session. session. Um, I am reputable in Lin Manor Studios as someone who, even, even if I were a lead designer on a project, that I'm always five or six editions of a project behind in my brain. Mm -hmm. And my, my attention to minutia and detail are way off. So if I make any errors tonight, Josh will be flogging me from, from a mile away, which is fine, and I apologize. I was really hoping, because if, if we could have got Josh on, he could correct me as I go. I'm pretty sure I'll make some faux pas. In fact, I believe on my True Talk, we already had a faux pas. I was like, oh, I think this number is the, uh, the, the, the level. <laughs> I should know better. That's the range. That's the range <laughs> it's always yeah. been the range. Silly me. Okay, so that being said, um, we're going back. So I think we need to have... Are showing off our, the ship here that you're looking for? Or? No, no, but I think we need to go for ah. this side. We're, no, we're definitely not going against a Captain Skill 4 Jemadar ship. I'm, I'm willing to let you go against one. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I like our chances. What is our yeah. uh, setup for the ships there? Does it tell us how many ships we need? Uh, so on um, the setup round, uh, we set up uh, the first wing and second wing Do Dominion ship, mm -hmm. uh, bearing three and four, which is what those are. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then round two, we've got some more things to worry about. So we've got a one round of one round of some some grace. Of some grace. Do we have another two over there, if you don't mind? Now, to my knowledge, you guys only have ten rounds to complete a mission, too. Yeah, these missions, all the missions are very different. They all feel very different, which is nice. And. Uh, I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second. And so I know this is a timed mission. So one of the things I actually really appreciate about, the, appreciate about this game is that there's an option to retreat and there's an option to let the time run out and then the story continues. So it changes how you go to the next mission. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, we lost, you know, and it, it changes a little bit as you go forward. I so I can tell you that I even have on our little uh, card here, which is the what the enemy will do sheet. Mm -hmm. It even has rules on what to do if they are fleeing. So if you decide to retreat, I got things I can do against you. So we're gonna put this over here for you, Ben. This is a good opportunity to partition out some of this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna please. put these two Jem'Hadar attack ships over to Ben. And uh, we're gonna give you two board. shields for each because uh, if you wanna go to that close up again, we can show a little bit. Which one, card? Uh, yeah, the one we yeah. go. Gotcha. Okay, so here's your ship built up. We've got our identifier. This identifier is going to identify, oh, where are we? 
there we go, sorry. Identify with the card so that we know which ship this card pertains to. Uh, we know that it has two shields on the side, so we're going to have two shields here um, to signify that the card, the card is Captain Skill 1. This is the loadout of the first ship. This is your basic, like, simple, easy going, should be able to take out this ship's ship. Three attack dice, two evade dice, three hull, two shields, represented by the two shields and the 1-1. One, one. As you can see, we got this nice new model. They did a really good job on the metallics of the model. If uh, Just for comparison, here are some of the older ships that they put out. Um, they were still very nice back then too, but now we've got that it's got this nice purple purple metallic sheen to it that gives it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss a close up of, of the thing here for a second. What thing? The rotating. Oh, the rotating ship. Oh, you, you want to put it there? Throw a different yeah, one there. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the new one. There's the new ship uh, there. I'm I'm changing that camera. Give me two seconds. Oh, oh it's still <laughs> too tall, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, because I got everything on double basis so they can be high enough for us to be uh, able to modify. Just... So here at Six Sides, right, we are constantly in trying to back on. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, the board game series. This is our third uh, we week doing board games. We've done, right. We did uh, Hero Quest last week and Terminator Genesis the week before. Yeah. And now we're doing this one there. So there you go. Look, if they're still here after I added another overlay live, I'm sure they can manage me moving a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that one. This, these were the original ones there. Uh, what they looked like. They were pretty good too back then. But now we've got a much better looking uh, metallic ship. And if you want, we can even just put the third one there for now. Okay. Actually, I feel like the right. detail level is slightly better on the new ones. Oh, way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah, hmm. it, it's all metallic now, so it feels like it should be some sort of spaceship. And, well, even know, little not... small things, like the ridging here is better than the ridging on the other two. They don't look nearly the same quality. It's interesting. I do know that they did a bit of a retool on them, so... So that's okay, nice. that could okay. be it, yeah. So the one nice. and two are now placed where they need to be placed. That is very important for the AI, uh, for the, how the AI works in this. Again, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a game where you literally get to play attack wing, but you don't have to play against an opponent. In some cases, the opponent will, the, 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 the AI will win. I think we've, we've I've, even lost I've a few lost, times. I've lost a ship to the AI, that's for sure. I lost a ship to the AI because someone left me behind. Heroically. But, uh, <laughs> so, Heroically left someone, you behind. <laughs> someone, someone left you behind right before you cut their Skype connection tonight so that they couldn't <laughs> No, there was no spite. <laughs> no, There's no, no spite. No, jo Josh was standing by. It was all on our end. So. Be believe me, I wish he was here right now to make sure I don't miss say everything. So, <laughs> so here we go. Mm. T. All right. So now we get to play the mission. You've, ga you've gained the briefing. Uh, should we put that, let's put that on the right here real close to show people what the mission parameters look like. There we go. So this so you guys get a chance to take a look at that. <laughs> screen crap the crap, screen cap the crap out of it. They wanna, <laughs> um, and so there's a bunch of information here to note. Right now we've got our mission parameters. There's an objective. The direct, an objective is collect uh, sensor data, collect at least one odd numbered and one even numbered mission token from locations C and D respectively. Then the ships carrying the, uh, them must retreat from Federation edge of the map, which is the edge, the side that Joe is on, yep. which we'll see after. Um, XP reward for each type of mission token returned odd and even. Each player receives one XP. So if we don't get any, we just, we don't lose the mission. We just don't get any XP. I'm becoming the greatest captain of my generation. I'm getting two <laughs> XP. <laughs> but and I will tell you that each mission doesn't care how much XP you get, right? So it's going to be more punishing as we go along. Uh, retreat options: captains may retreat from any edge of Federation ed or from any Federation edge, which is which, just this which one. is just one edge. Okay. Case. That means because there's still penalties to blowing up and stuff and losing mm -hmm. your ship. Mission end at the end of round ten. All remaining players automatically retreat. So we do have a time limit, so we can't faff about and like just kite the ships forever. Destroy players. These players gain one fewer XP, minimum zero. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Do we retreat at the end of round 10? Automatically. It automatically and if we retreats. have our tokens, then we're, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I think that's the case. So if we, we can survive to round 10 as well. Now, as a special uh, thing for tonight only, we will let Ben go to negative experience. Hey, there we yeah. go. <laughs> so we've got our mission tokens laid out. So as you can see here, we have missions here, missions there. And uh, introductory mission. Uh, to play this mission as an introduction to Star Trek Alliance, players may choose to skip the initial campaign setup and player setup steps in order to follow. You can, so there's pre-generations and stuff here too. Funny enough, the Excelsior is here, uh, has a dorsal phaser array and helmsman as a choice. 
That's um, the top choice. There's also a second choice, detection grid science officer. Third choice, overcharged phasers, reinforced shields. You chose none of Josh's suggestions. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I might be ruining that decision. And the Akira is enhanced targeting and operations officer, photon torpedoes, tactical officer, commander. Well, what so, what the devil? So you guys flipped. We your... just flipped. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. There's value to zagging when everyone else is zigging, you know? <laughs> Preferably into those asteroids for you. Just to... <laughs> if a player ship carrying one or more mission tokens is destroyed, return its mission tokens to the supply. So if I pick up two and blow up... They're back in the pile. No, we don't want to do that. So what this means is that if you grab a couple of mission tokens and you escape off the board, we each yeah. would get two XP. We, we would each get two XP, one for each mission token. But if I blow up on the way out... Like, that's never happened before. Oh, so we have, I, a, we have a chance of each getting 4 XP. Yes, we could get 4 XP, but if I blow up on the way out, we get 2 XP, but I only get 1 because shipped... Uh, blown uh, up it's ship. actually, for each type of mission token returned, odd and even, each player receives 1 XP. So if you get away with an odd one, you both get 1. If you get away with an odd and even, you both get 2. If right. there are 2 odds, you still only get 1. That's right. Mm. But if I blow up on the way out... You I will lose get one. No, no, it says, it says here, it says these players gain. Oh, oh yeah, they did. yeah, these yeah. players. So if I blow up and we got an odd and even escaped, you'll get two XP, I'll get one. Okay. Because I blowed up. Blew up? Technical term. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find uh, out. I do believe it's blowed up. We're only saying blew up because, was it last Christmas? We did a test run of this. Uh, with Joe and a few other of the uh, the uh, Star Trek Attack Wing crowd, and Josh abandoned me at my post, and uh, I died. So, um, but know. did he win? He got away. Oh yeah, he got away. He got all the XP. I died. So he did the right <laughs> thing for the Federation. <laughs> yeah, Tom died a hero. I, yeah. died, I died a hero. Yeah, and, and I that's... was, you know, promoted to admiral. I mean, <laughs> I mean blame Josh might be something. <laughs> okay, so all right. So shall we begin this then? Actually, you. Do I need that, that for round two, yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. In fairness, uh, Tom was assuming that he was going to blow up, but I don't think it was ever an exclusive statement. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> so this actually has settings for up to six players right here in the rules. Yes. So what that means is that if we have multiple copies of, of Alliance, you can combine them together. Or, in this case, if you have extra ships from when you were a collector, uh, we can't see them right now, but I've got two giant tackle boxes full of ships down there. If, uh, if, you, uh, if you have extra ships and extra components, you could theoretically expand the play base to uh, be up to six players, or you could just play, one player could play six Federation ships and nine of the Beatles. I'm not nuts. saying how many there are. Well, there's definitely more. <laughs> the more players, it scales up. It, it's more than Fully nine. scalable. Okay, <laughs> so shall we just dig into this? I mean, it's all pretty standard attack wing until we get to their turn. That's right. So we have range one to set up. Yep. I, uh, with your permission, Captain, have some suggestions as to perhaps how we can okay. handle like that. Captains admi captains admire. Well, here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to distribute our shield tokens. Uh, I have... Two. How many do you have? Three. There's one, two. There's some more there There's for you. Three. There's your three shield tokens. I'm going to give you an array of evade and tokens like that. There you go. Maybe some scanned. And you can grab yourself a target lock from the target lock section. Uh, I, the target locks are A, B, C, D, and E. I'm going to take L2 because it's the closest thing to Lynn Vander Studios. So I'm going to take uh, L2 as my target lock, which is something I've had from a previous thing. And I'm going to... We've also got these really cool... These are the, uh, uh, if you want to show up how close to that, these are the, uh, um, sure. yep. these are the templates that come in it. They're much higher quality than normal. Uh, I appreciate them. Nice matte finish. I am going to use, and the players can use as well, these cool cut ones because they're blue and exciting. Uh, might be hard to read, but I we'll, think all I think the okay. base ones, as much as I can, to represent a color difference on the map of what the enemy is doing compared to what you guys are yeah, doing. Perhaps. So, uh, the last of, thing to show. State of the Federation asked, uh, can we use Federation ships beside Excelsiors and uh, Akira's? Uh, Akira. Akira. Akira's. You, 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 the Akira's, yeah. You, uh, you will be able to. There will be some conversion rules uh, as we go along. I don't know the official details of that. Anything that I say about future products or future ideas are simply just that, future products and future ideas. 
not future promises. I think Josh got a bit of it into that. There are some book. conversions. Yeah. There, there are some comments and conversions in here. Yeah. So I think that's uh, yeah. probably what you're looking for on it. I know it's not all the ships, as this is a very thin book. But uh, as time goes some. on, there will be other, uh, hopefully, if this product is successful, and that is up to us. How we fly today. How we fly today and how you fly in the future as a team. If this product is successful, then we will, uh, we will be looking at hopefully having more opportunities to provide conversion product for you. So let's do the best we can. All right, I'm setting up my, uh, I forgot how much fun this Remember, is. Remember, Tom, if you lose, you're out of the family. Yes, I am aware. But I never lose. Good. <laughs> except when you're own, left behind by except, Josh. Except when left behind by my teammates. Okay. So this here, um, I'm just going to show real quick, is the cool AI system. We'll go to close up again. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is the, this is the AI system currently in place. Uh, we're going to use this complicated map, which looks complicated, but is actually quite simple, to play the Jem'Hadar attack ships uh, without having to have a player make the decisions for us. This is uncanny how, how easy these kinds of ships will fly in formation and operate together depending on uh, the logic that you follow. So for example, choose maneuver, identify target based on mission orders, which is based on permission, to find target range uh, and direction, then roll on the matching maneuver table, which is to the right here, this is your maneuver table based on the front of the ship moving around. Um, perform the maneuver rolled, if red, skip action and place a uh, auxiliary power. Is that what they're called auxiliary? Mm -hmm. yep. I don't want to get the two, two terms mixed up. The other one is the stress token, right? The other game? That other game? Uh, so <laughs> so the, you'll put auxiliary <laughs> token on the ship and you will skip the action. There's a bit of a cheat there, but that's mainly... And then and how these come off, uh, it's different than how the players play it. But sometimes you have to bend the rules a little bit to be able to let the AI uh, function without any major issues. Then... Um, basically choose an action and then the first entry applies so if it has an auxiliary token its action is to remove the token so it could gain a token and remove it all in the same round uh, if you have a uh, battle stations if you have a shot if there's a clear shot from the from the arc of fire then you'll place the battle stations if you don't have any anything you can shoot at you will default into an evade um, if any enemies are within range three but if they're not within range three you will then try to fix your damage and then the last one is you'll put a scan token if none of these apply. So if, if, if all of your logic is off, you'll go to scan. So that's very simple. Now on that note, we were talking about these mission tokens and how you actually get them. So in order to get these mission tokens, yes. you have to be within range one of them and place a scan token. Ooh. So you can't just fly by and, hey, I got this. You have to actually stop, scan the area, pick up sensor data, and then get out of there. Giving me plenty of time to shoot you, preferably. <laughs> yes, because you're going to play the uh, the AI for us tonight. You're gonna, I like you're to think roll that I'm AI playing guys. the person defending their home as you guys have kicked in the door to you know check out and see what you want to loot. Dominion. Simple so have you set us up, Joe, or are we setting up now? Uh, I have not set us up. I think we should hug the edge and see what Josh's AI can do uh, oh, against that. I see, I see we're going to break the AI right away. All right, all right. Let's dig in. So I think I should hug the edge because I've got an elegant, beautiful 180 arc, and you've just got. Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Do you want me to weave in and try and get over there, or do you want me to go around with you and let's just hug the side of space? Because don't forget, what we don't know, what we know, what you don't know, but now you know, is that there will be reinforcements coming on the board, but we do not know where on our marking points the reinforcements will come. So if we think we're gonna hide out in one side of space because it looks safe currently, eh, there's a chance that that's where the reinforcements are gonna come and pow, right from the backside. So we, uh, we gotta be very And we would careful. never massage those chances to make it more interesting either. We might, <laughs> we might. I, uh, I mean, I'm very shocked to think that you would suggest that I cheat to defeat these people when <laughs> it is easy enough to do on their own. I mean, <laughs> I mean we are uh, nothing if not above board here at Six me. Sides of Gaming. That's right. We've got uh, Kirk and, well, with the beard, I, you're more like Riker. But I mean, you're that's definitely, what I'm saying. In fairness, saying. that would have been more cutting if, you know, it... If it was a different player at the table. <laughs> I mean, he took the handicap of playing on Tom's team. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Achilles and Achilles heel here. Yeah. Achilles in <laughs> Paris, that's we're good. <laughs> I don't need to cheat. I think our plan that may not survive contact with the enemies is to skirt around. loop around, skirt back here, grab that one, and retreat so we're gonna in do a stately fashion. Yeah. Okay. 
these okay. guys will hopefully just crash into these asteroids as we go around them. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're just drones, right? Let's, let's, let's hope for the best. If yeah. I come close to asteroids, too, let's I automatically the avoid them. Well, let's and just break into it. Get free shots on you. So, this D12 is going to mark our rounds. And as you can see, the new dice, they're really nice. They're blue, Federation blue. So, Ben, you're going to keep track of our rounds. So, this is round one. Nine. Uh, one round left. Crap. <laughs> well, we're going to retreat, but we're not getting too much experience. Okay, so much like regular attack, when we get these cool little dials, and we get to spin them off, and we get to talk about what we're doing for the dials, and then we get to place them down, and then we get to operate the, the game as normal. Uh, uh, my captain skill is... As a player who enjoys simplicity, oh, yeah, that's what I we really need to like not having to figure out. That. I think our captain skill is... It's got to be one, right? Because we haven't shaded in anything. You yeah, have not done chose, anything. You we can't chose not to shade in, so our captain skills are one. Well, we're not allowed to shade in our skill, yeah. But are, what are their captain skills, too, I think? One. Uh, captain skill, one. So they're okay. better than we are. So who... So do they go before us? Yeah, I believe so. I believe we move first, and then they... Isn't it the lower the number goes first, and then the higher number, the shoots, higher first. number shoots first? So, so it's they going get up. So you guys are at zero, so you guys get to move oh, first. Oh, we're at zero. Yep. Okay. And I got a capital skill of one, so I get to... Is that what it says? We're zero? Well, you don't have anything shaded in, do you? Normally that but I, I think when we spend the XP... Oh, no, no, no. Do we have you to spend... couldn't spend XP on your captain skill. Right. Could you can you just imagine what Josh is doing to his keyboard right now? Oh, Josh is like this? slamming his keyboard right now, being like, "It's so simple." <laughs> it is very simple. Well, I have no idea. You have nothing shaded in, so I assume zero. There's nothing. Well, there. when we spend our XP, I think we're supposed to spend the XP here. That's when you get XP to spend. And it starts at two because one of the wrinkles of the game is that you normally start with a if you don't put a captain on, you start with a captain skill of one. Oh, so then you'd it'd be the yeah. same then. You'd have a captain skill of one. Oh, so everyone's at one. Yeah, I'm sure. Book. I'm sure it's. I was going to say you do have the. This rule is book. great. I actually want these kinds of things to come up because the rule book will definitely tell us what that is. Because uh, well, I know this rule book is dynamite. It's very well done. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another wrench in the mix. Uh, Please do. Uh, somebody asked, "Is this was in relation to the AI? Uh, is it a scan action that must be taken, or does placing also uh, does the placing ability also?" Count? Do you want to read another? So or? I know what the rule says. It's, okay. uh, so you use your scan action, and then at the end of the activation phase, you can spend a scan token uh, if you're within range one to get a mission token. So it's a it's a vulnerable turn because you're not taking any actions for combat, and the scan's going to be spent before it could help you uh, with the fighting too. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Which is a good thing to do the whole way. So it says here, uh, okay, you must spend all your XP by shading in the boxes. It cannot be saved for later. Yeah, we know by we shading did that. in the boxes. Shading in the boxes. These oh, boxes. That's right. And what, what theoretically did we shade in? Did we shade in these skills? You shaded yeah. in three in crew Number and four. three in weapon. And I shaded in five in crew and one in tech. So we haven't shaded any of the skill by design. I see. That's right. That's right, right in front of my eyes, the three rows below. <laughs> so yeah, so in that case, uh, is our skill two to start off with? Uh, no, two would be the first one you shade in. So you're at skill one then. If we start normally at one in the regular game, then you'd be at one right now. Okay, well, this is exciting. Let's <laughs> dig in. I just wanted the advantage of moving last and shooting first. So there was another question. Uh, if you have a science officer, you can have two tokens. Is that correct? Can have two scan tokens. Two scan is that tokens. what it said? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. That, that was the question. I, I think that's right, but I wasn't sure if anyone knew. Oh, the, the science card. officer on the card? Yeah. The crew card? Yeah, I'll grab the crew card and give it a read. Do you have the crew cards over there? Just hand me the deck and I'll give it a read. Yeah, so if we took the science officer, science officer reads as placed. Uh, actually, if you want, now that we've got that close up, I can throw some things out. So while Joe's checking that out, there's the science officer. And it says here, action, place two scan tokens beside the ship. Man, that would have been actually a really good thing to pick now that it's too late. <laughs> Tactical officer, <laughs> operations officer. Those are the three crew we did not take to start with. Perfect. Reroll any number of attack dice. That'd be decent. And repair one shield on the ship. Yeah. 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 So these are pretty good. Oh. I trust. I trust Joe. I trust Joe. His builds are his builds. Well, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna do okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So uh, the question is, where to go? What to do here? I believe you want to, I don't know if your ships are capable of this, but can you do a 180? I'm going to grab that book from you, Joe. I just want to check one icon I don't understand. I'm pretty sure if you ram the asteroids, they're like pinatas. Yeah. This is yeah. what I think we want. We want to but do I think you want to go that way. 
Both of us? Yeah, yeah. so if you both retreat, you'll be fine. Get out of here. <laughs> Braxis Axis' comment is, holy shit, it's Riker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess we shouldn't. We'll, we'll dramatically reveal. Yeah, we'll reveal we, our maneuvers. We'll, so we'll keep our. We'll put our maneuvers down here, and then we'll reveal them on. Okay, okay are we ready? So that, yeah, if you're ready, I'll give you a close up. Okay, go here we go. It. Ready? Well, so are they? Oh yeah, we go first. We definitely go first. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god! Okay. We're both going four forward. Ten four forward. If we keep this excitement up, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, this is almost as exciting as Massey's turn as a magic. <laughs> I hope you're watching, Massey. Love you. I'm the one who always votes for you to win. Okay, so now we both move forward, and we both get to take some actions. Uh, I think here I'm going to uh, put an evade. Makes sense, right? Just in case they get in range somehow. I don't know how they will, but you never know what, well, well, then. what could happen. We'll take our evade tokens. All okay. right, so I'm going to take my lovely This Is How I Play the Game sheet. Um, let's see, there are two different sets of tables that yes. I can actually go from. So the blue ring here is only if you're within range one or closing to range two. So that's not going to happen. It's going to close into range two. So we're going to go to the yeah. outer ring. Uh, so this guy here, you are definitely within the second bucket. Yeah, so we'll turn it like this. And there we go. Mm -hmm. So now with the facing of it, we are in its uh, primary arc, I think, or the second arc. I think you're in the secondary yeah, arc. Yeah, we here. are in the secondary arc. Depends on which one I'm going for, though. Uh, but so the best way to do this. it is to take the range ruler. And you can follow the white lines, and then... Yeah, that would be primary. Yeah, so you're in the primary arc. All right, so let's give it a roll, and we are going to go forward too. Okay, so let's go to the close-up for a second. I want to show everybody this real quickly. So here's the template of the ship. This is important because you'll see that, like every other template you see, there is white lines. These white lines correspond to this, uh, these lines here, to be able to dictate which arc the enemy ships are in which will help dictate the ai and then what we're going to do is we're going to roll d6s so when ben was saying there's the ring of blue around the ring of blue means following the blue ring uh the target is in range one or closing to range two and if they're in range three or, or fleeing to range uh, from range two then you'll use the outer ring of d6s so in this case here what did you roll i rolled a six so, so he rolled he a six too. and he's in this arc here and the AI says to go forward too. What's uncanny about that from the, from the top down point of view is it looks like it's heading toward an asteroid, but it actually looks like it could also arc in and get us as we're trying to pass it. It could, it's not gonna hit that asteroid. I just, I'm yeah, just, I'm telling you, I remember happen. seeing this it, just wreck. It, it might go through it to get a shot at us, so you don't know. Now, it might. From what I can see from this other one, we are hitting this Secondary yeah, arc. Yeah, you're definitely in the secondary arc for this one. So we will just roll off this and it is two. number two. So off the secondary arc, number two, it is a light turn. So it is a, a uh, so it's a hard turn. Soft and a turn. Soft it's turn. a bank. Bank. Well, two no, bank. I'm not taking any money out. Mm. But I appreciate it. Um, we are the Dominion. Oh we are God. not a bank. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> they're coming after us already. Well, That's... you're in my house. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, that's, so uh, my turn. No, well, they got to put their actions down. So oh, okay. there's no auxiliary to remove. They do no not have shot. a shot on us because they are not within range three. So I will get lovely scanning tokens for each one because I have no damage. And that is the only other thing I can do. Well, okay. So we now remove our tokens. And I think it's time for us to figure out what to do next. Now I'm within range one, so I'm going to start taking the scanning data so you guys can't. <laughs> no, about your, about your own house. Yeah, it's good to know. So you got the 180 arc. You think the same thing? You wanted me to do the same maneuver? I'm not. I'm not saying whether it's the same or not. I'm letting it be the reveal. But this is what I think we should do. All right. I think. I think I need to. You know, for pretending to be the junior officer here, you're. I think I need to. I think I need to, to <laughs> because of my arcing. That way, I can potentially. Well, remember, you've got a 360 weapon. Oh, I do. I've got the dorsal phaser array. It is range one to two. So yeah, you're right. You realize I'm gonna take the hits here. All right, here we go, reveal time. Ready? Oh. Here it is, the big reveal. Boom, four forward again, nice and simple. I feel like we should have combat. Nothing nice. if not consistent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so four forward, uh, let's do it. Wait. Uh-oh. This, this is round two. This is round two. This is round two. What happens in round two? Nothing happens in round two. Nothing happens in round two. 
I've double checked this and triple checked it. Okay. Not a thing happened. Weird. Okay. Not weird. It's space. <laughs> <laughs> That's how space works. That's how space Shall works. Shall we go? All right, I'll move you forward, Joe. Expecting something around two. Okay, well, uh, so I'm planning that uh, some things are actually going to happen here. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that that ship's going to come within so range to shoot. I'm going to do my commander action and take those two. Uh, that's a battle station and a evade. Uh, I've got a simple action to do, and I think evade is the way to evasive go. Because it's probably right. going to shoot me, right? Evasive maneuvers? I would take, uh, and hear me out, a battle station because you've got two evade dice, so it could end up being worth two evades. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little double battle station. All right, I trust the world champion. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All the experience will get mine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. All right, now it is time to watch the AI interact. So here's my question. Yes. For the AI, it doesn't really have a thing on here that I see on this, but. It says to identify target based on mission orders. I've read through my mission orders here. I don't see something that tells me that I should be targeting one of you over the other. Just continue ignoring me. Uh, so in this case, it, there is a thing in here for mission orders is that their job is to just take us out. Yes. Or, it says your orders, attack. So they're going to attack the, the one thing that is closest to you. It will always be the closest target? Which it will does be me. split the two here. So no, I'm curious. closer. Okay. I'm definitely closer. So in the actual game, what you do is you're usually checking with the range ruler to see who's closer. And clearly, I've got more you space do. covers. Yes. So I, I am I'm sadly the target. Well, just because you're almost like different you're this way. arcs, I wanted to make sure I knew which jo one I'm Joe has a little for. Josh in him. So one. So one. first things first, I am in your primary, primary arc. And we're in closing on, on range two. So this will move me. So closing, closing on range oh, two. Yeah, you're still in range three though. No, but it's it's going to be clo it's closing oh, on okay, range. Oh no, I am in range three. Yep. And so you are not. If you're if we're in closing on range two and you roll that one, it is a one bank. Okay. But there are rules for find the target's range and direction, then roll the matching maneuver table. So we're in closing on range two. Now, if I was all the way over here and there was no way, but here's the other thing too. Um, this is how it's turning. No, that's wrong. Uh, so you perform the maneuver rolled. Okay. That is correct. It is moving this direction. No. Nope. That would be a one. No, it's not closing on range two then. If the target's range one or closing at range two, it's not going to close at that's range two. That's what I thought. Yeah, you're so right. So back to my first result. Where Again, I don't listen to forward. me. There we go. Let's see here. Um, so there it goes. Other one still has you in the primary arc as well. Okay. So this will be a two. This will also be going forward four. He's probably gonna get a shot on me. Yes, so he does have a shot on me, range three. Range three or range two? That's range three. Ah, that's better. That's range three. So, oh, okay. So, uh, because it does I have see. a shot, it's gonna put battle stations. Yes, it is. There you go. And the other one's going to put up a scanning token. Nice. No, uh, invasive token. Sorry, yeah. I see this. Okay. Invasive maneuvers. All right. So now what happens? Well, based on the captain's skill. Well, I moved last, so I shoot first. Correct. Okay. So that guy's going to fire off some shots at you. Um, he just wants you to know that he thinks you're a joke or a jerk. So uh, this guy here doesn't have any no, shots. It would so be that fellow up yep. there. He would normally have three dice because you're at range three. He loses one, correct? No. No, he I'll gains it. I'll gain it. He gains it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to fire with three shots here. And. <sighs> oof. That's three not so great. Hits and is that <sighs> this one the critical hit or no, that one? That's, that's critical. So that's one hit, two crit. crits. Two crits and a hit. Then that All sounds right. about right. So I've got the, my regular two evade dice plus one because of range three. So I'm going to see if my uh, I got a little cure luck here, and I trusted Joe's battle stations uh, thing. Oh, Joe, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Though well, I'm going to spend my battle stations just token <laughs> just to get three evade dice <laughs> to get out of the way. All right. Get out of the way. Right. <laughs> Bunch of well done, Joe. Well I'm done. Okay, so that's that. Now it did not have to spend its uh, battle stations, so did it's not. good. Uh, now it is our turn. I think you're going to fire that 360 weapon you have. Uh, I think so too. Uh, attack. Target opposing ship. This ship may fire. There's no disable on it. Oh, never mind. It's just straight up fire away. And I am within range two, so, uh, but not one. And secondary weapon anyway. That doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna get myself three dice. Fire away. 
Um, Not I bad. Got one hit, modified. one crit. All right, I get two dice. Uh, one evade. Now I have an evade token. It immediately spends. So what does that evasion token do? It, it counts as if you had another one of those. So, so that gets you, rid you of both your dodge hits as well. Correct. All right. But that's good, because we weakened them for my shot. All right. Just here for the glory. So is this? It's range two. Range two. So the Excelsior is going for a shot now. If you roll just a few inches in from the edge, they'll be able to see it. Here? Yeah, anywhere around there. Yep. Yeah. Right into the field. OK, well, I'll spend the battle stations. So two hits. I get my two dice to defend. Oof. Nothing. Sick. So, I'm so that is that is one. Yep. So two, two shields. shields off of that. So yeah, we just take them off because you can disable the shields for other things like cloaking. That's what the red is. Is that they're oh, still okay. there, but they're off. So <clears throat> shields down, buddy. Shields down. Okay, not bad. Let me just double check this. Bunch of cheating jerks. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Well, that's okay, good. so now it's time for a new round. Ben's miss so Josh we're going to handle round three. Now something happens during round three. Oh, uh -oh. That's, that's this okay. is what you were kind of excited for. So we will have another ship coming in in the third round. Uh, Guaranteed, it's coming in on sector two. Guaranteed. Uh, actually, what I do for this is I roll, so it'll be coming in on one of the six sides. So there are six sides of gaming here. Three. Ah, uh, no. Now, that's here's fine. the other that's thing about this. Is before I put this number three here, is I actually get the elite version of this. So I get to what? flip my card, and I have a captain skill four elite. That's, that's not great. <laughs> guy coming in on you guys. Oh, so we are going to put him. He has a captain skill here. He's got a, uh, uh, right here. a thing. Yeah, he is elite, and he is willing to hurt you. So. It says here, when attacking, during the modified attack dice step, if this ship has a battle stations token beside it, then convert one blank into a hit. If it has a battle station token, it converts one blank into a hit. Okay, yeah. that's, yeah. that's pretty so good. So there's a question from chat. Uh, yeah. Do you still get a first a point for first blood? Uh, they haven't actually drawn first blood. No, no, I, I understand. The question was, do you get a point? For first blood no. in this version. Not in this uh not in this uh it is not scenario, part of this scenario. But some of the scenarios may have that. Perfect. We wanna we don't want to reveal what the next scenarios are because we're gonna play them. Well then, uh we'll give you a couple shield tokens for that third one and we'll grab please. a three. Grab a three over there for me, please, and that we can mark. I the put ships. one on it already. I see one for here. Uh I've been asked to tell Joe that Bohica is flying it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, whichever oh, one is Bohica. matching the uh, the crit one right here. Okay. Oh, there so you go. Just this right here. Yeah. Put it on top. Perfect. And that said, for no reason whatsoever, I'm going to say if you happen to have a four, to a couple four tokens, I may or may not need them later. What? Uh, maybe. And a five. And a seven. All right. Time not a for, six though. Time for us to plan. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we got. Now we got to discuss here. Okay. Okay. Hail, hail, Captain Joe. Captain Tom. Yes. Here Joe. I am. We pick up an enemy ship coming in on sector three. But we got to get the pay data. That's Shadowrun. We got to get. <laughs> we got to get the, uh, the, uh, the data and get out of here. What do you think? Uh, I think that we should shove our phasers right down his throat. So you think we move? We kind of move in and I, take that guy out. I think you should do a three forward, and then a battle stations to attack him, and then next turn use your, your use your helmsman to do a hard one. Which will still leave you in range one when you can spend your. We'll we'll pick it up after your turn, and this time we'll try and blow that guy up. And I'll do a uh, f four forward, I guess. I'd like to do a three bank, but I might hit you. Let me see. Here. What if I do a two forward and you do a three bank? Will you hit me? Yeah, you'll hit me. You can do a two forward, but the three forward has a better chance of getting that. He's gonna curve for sure. He's, that, gonna, he's yeah. probably gonna do a come about. So three forward. Uh, what if I did, if I did a four forward, your three bank shouldn't hit me. So one thing about attack wing is you shouldn't, it's, it's ta you can't really uh, use your maneuver dials to play it out. You That's can right. if you're playing by yourself, just for fun, you can, but part of the fun and excitement is to not be able to like measure out where your maneuvers are. Uh, competitively, you're not allowed to do that. I'm just gonna say that your plan out loud sounds a lot like a bunch of murder hobos coming in <laughs> to uh, to kill people in their house to take their stuff. So. Excuse, excuse me, space murder hobos. Okay, I apologize. You know what my favorite part is? <laughs> is that there's nothing you can do to alter this. No. Hey, you're you're bound by the AI, buddy. That guy's converting blanks to hits. He's a bad person. Uh, yeah, he absolutely. needs to be killed. So what do you think? <laughs> so if I go four forward, you woke up the uncle on the couch. The mission tokens don't count as an <laughs> obstacle, so I should be able to make it right to it and then do I, it. I think the four forward might be more likely to be a, I Okay, if you do a two forward and a two turn, 
Do you have two turns on the Akira uh, dial? The Akira dial has the Akira dial has a two two bank. Yes. Okay, then I, I if you do two and I do three. <laughs> it's already complicated because we don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, is that the nose dive that is going down? Yeah, well, you know, space is three dimensional, so while well, you guys are stuck in this two dimensional plane, I just that figured fellow is going we in. We have a bunch of new people. I figured I'd give them a, right in a on close the up imagery. of one of the ships. That's one of the older ships. The reason why we put that ship there is because I did the modification with the uh, little the little magnets to be able to bank the ships so that they can f they look more. Do you have a new one of the new metallics? It's, it's in the uh, oh, I gotcha. it's gotcha. in the battlefield. I think we're All fine. Right. I'm going to do this. I don't think you have to worry. What am I? What would you like me to do? My four? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you can. Okay. You'll still lose. So I'm gonna go four forward, and the Excelsior is gonna go three bank. You go first. All right. Here I go. Your actions are more important than mine. Bum, 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 bum. That's the wrong. Uh, that's the wrong game. But no, I don't think you move them. Well, I just need to move them to your base. There we go. They're touching. No, that's it. He forfeits. That's you can't handle that. <laughs> Actually, they can be within their range. <laughs> they need that experience. So, uh, you want me to battle stations this? Yeah, I'm gonna battle stations this. Yeah, because you're gonna shoot that guy. Yeah, damn right I am. I'm killing that guy. I'm not just shooting him. I'm killing him. All okay, right, so you're up. You're up. My, three bank. Do my three bank. For so, me, if as you someone would. new to the game, yes, having never played before this, being dragged out for this one, um, which I'm actually quite enjoying, but. Uh, what does it work Just for shooting through asteroids? Uh, uh, we bumped. You get, you get an extra. You do that's bump. Where 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 we want to be? Now, when you bump, that causes you to lose your action. Yeah, Correct. Sadly. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's more I just want to put it up for the record that if I had done the two forward, you would have bumped into me. It still would have bounced. Would it bounce you think? Yeah. I think you would have been right here in the top of your ship. I think I, thought, I think we would have evaded each other. I think your, I your feel initial like you would have stopped there. him earlier. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you don't die, my friend, with no shields. I have full shields. I mean, sorry, with no evade. He's going to attack you anyway. Hopefully. All right, well, let's find out what's going to happen. So now I believe, starting with number one, you are within two. So right. captain skill for the bad guys isn't going to dictate who goes to moves first. No, I'm just going to go by number order. I feel like that's the way to do it. Is it? Uh, I think so. Is I mean, it? we have numbers. We're going to go with that. It's, it's the way they activate it. Plus, number one here is out for revenge. He got shot earlier. So currently, we are in the back le yeah, left flank. Far left uh, skill shot here. And we so are definitely within range. We're going to roll on that. Two. It's going to be a five. So his five is a hard two. <laughs> oh, my God. Which... Totally avoids the asteroid. <laughs> Just barely <laughs> avoids the asteroid. Oh my god. You're still outside of his firing arc though. Yeah, but he's closing in. All right, number two. You guys are pretty much in his secondary. Now it is the far one, so we're going to roll for that. It is a three. So he is going to do a soft two coming around to you guys. <laughs> okay. That's really gross. That Look at they're They're almost in perfect arc. formation. Look at that. Yeah, well, you know, you got your friend coming up beside you to help you out. You need a wingman. So you're getting peppered by that guy. And the well, I hope guy. that guy attacks you and this guy you attacks guys, me. I think this would be so I believe, closing yeah, to yeah, here. You can use any. Uh, is you. there a, yeah, see here. So yeah, that's already two. So you guys will be definitely a closing two Closing target. two, but I believe it's, I believe it's, target is primary arc. Yep, so it's in his primary arc. So we're going to do a closing one here, and this is going to be a one. He is veering away. That's weird. Well, he just arrived, and he wasn't sure what was going on. He's like, whoa, people are here. Um, so he's just going to do a soft bank to the side. Now, hold on. Closing two. Yeah, I'm just reading right now. His table, right, right. Uh, perform maneuver rolled, if red, skip action. Yep, that's it. That's what it does. He banks away. Um. I've seen this before. I'm not worried. Okay, <laughs> he's now, let's come see what their time. actions were. He can't fire, uh, so he's going to be an evade. Actually, you know what's interesting about that maneuver, Joe? He can fire, so he gets a battle station. Is I can't hit it now. And he can't that fire. That is interesting. Oh, well, if I didn't have the dorsal phaser already, I wouldn't be able to hit it. He gets an evade. True, 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 true. Good thing you do. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, I fire first? Yes, I do. Yes, you should do. This guy... Um, doesn't have any arc, which is good. That's why he has the evade on. Uh, State of the Federation asked, uh, doesn't the rule book say AI always go towards? So this one has a thing on it, doesn't it? In other words, Ben, did you F up? 
Maybe. I was like wondering. I your... went off my little cheat sheet. Uh, formation, round, bearing, the number list that can move. Blah, where's blah, blah, Josh? Blah, blah, orders. Where's yeah, Josh? where's Josh? I'm not sure if Josh is still Delete ships. hanging out. Rogue examples. Uh, well, that's a shame. I believe this is the time we put in the hashtag. Fleet uh, setup, yes. Blame Josh. <laughs> no, I don't think we're allowed to blame Josh on this one. <laughs> uh, bearing. I was given a sheet, and I'm following my sheet's directions. But it's a good question to ask, because I am very it curious. It is a good question Because I would much rather charge the gaze guys here and here, start putting shots into them. Some fresh eyes? Yeah, please do. So it's in the blue ring, and I rolled a one. It was also in my main arc, so the forward facing. The overall logic for this formation of enemy ships which may engage on their targets or action. So I actually think Ben did goofy, so let's go back. Oh, okay. I'll tell you why. So I'll just, you just, put the, uh, just do the exact maneuver backwards again. No, do well, you can just put it right in front of the right three. Back to the three. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was the reason why is because we're not actually in range two. We're only in range. Oh, sorry, we are we are in range two. So uh, wouldn't that count as closing at range two? Because this says if in yeah. range one or closing at range two. Yeah, you're right. So All I right. rolled for it. Um, so where does it say in the rule book according to the state of the federation? Uh, it was it was a question they they asked. Uh, doesn't the rule book say the AI always goes towards? But I would I, really like to know. No, no, it actually, yeah. It, yep. it, what's really interesting about this is that it, it actually... Bearing three, bearing four, roll. Bearing three, yeah. So actually, it's it's evading me right now. I can't shoot it, it can't shoot me. And if it moves toward us, it actually clusters everything. I bet you, if I were to lay some even money down, I bet you there's a significant chance that thing is going to do a hard turn toward me or do a come about. Next turn, in which case it's going to be right in my face, peppering me. Judging by the numbers on this, I would say that's... So this guy's going to pop shot at him. It is range two. So just straight up. Straight up attack, attack dice. dice. All right. I had attack dice at one point. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much, sir. Um, and I get to use my battle station if I roll them, which I did not. One so just solid one hit. hit. One oh, evade uh, die. We're here for you. One evade die. Oh, Evaded. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a world champion. <laughs> that's the world champion's <laughs> role. He's evading. This guy's out of arc. Or... That guy's out of arc. It's up to us to shoot. You get to shoot. He okay. cannot. He's out of actions, isn't he? No, he can shoot. No, I get so to he shoot. Says, oh, he's going to place, place a place. token. Do we want to double down and take this guy out, or do we want to double down and take that guy out? Uh, we want, We should shoot at the guy who is injured, because so, he doesn't have a... Uh, well, the, this yes. guy's the guy that's injured. One is injured. Yes, he is. Can I... Is it this guy that's injured? Yeah. I don't think I have a shot on him. No. So the options so are... So this, this guy. Okay, so do you want to pepper him first to reduce his defenses, or do you want me to pepper him? Uh, I'll, I'll do it. I, 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 so it is in range two. Okay, I need one more... Uh, I'm going to grab some more dice. Two Ooh, hits. two hits. All right. Roll I'm going to grab some more dice. Roll, roll two evading dice, and I get to use my thing here to cancel one. Uh, That's correct? Yeah, and that. So yeah. Okay. All right, Tom. Big roll. Big roll. Oh, I'm grabbing extra dice because... Well, the three-second rule's up, so you no longer get to shoot. It's unfortunate. How many attack wing players, or attack wing players, don't have oogles and oogles and oogles of dice? Well, I'll steal a couple of those. Even though the new ones are better. Okay, so... Actually, you can see a difference There's a the very big away. difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. So I'll put these up here. I'm not sure if you guys can tell just the toss them, Just toss them in front of you, oh, okay. you know, where you're putting the cards. So these are the newer ones, yeah. and these are the older ones. Yeah, the older yeah. ones are... So they are just... Uh, the older ones the are a brighter ones are, color. Uh, the newer ones are much cleaner, much more... They're smaller, actually, much more concise. Okay, yeah. so... Um, you can take it, my desk. Use your own. <laughs> they're all yours. I am mind. in range two, so the dorsal phaser array goes off. Uh, I'm going to roll my... Three dice. Oh! Battle so station's not going to do much for that. Let me roll for evading. Yeah, oh, look at that. I, I blanked he out. He just used <laughs> up an evade. He's yeah. going to wish he had that. So those old dice, they, they're, they're jealous. Oh, that sucked. Okay, okay. well, that hey, didn't work out. We'll live to fight another day. All right. Okay, new round. Your, your strategies. So this is round four. Anything happen on round four? Uh, surprisingly, many things happen, um, but none of them you get to find out about. So should I uh, disable this card? Yeah, and do a hard one, and I'm going to do a... Uh, Actually, even a one bank. Well, well uh, if you do a hard one, then you can go straight forward towards right. that. Okay. 
Sounds good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna in the activation phase I'm gonna disable my helmsman. I'll show my helmsman here in the in the in the uh, section. Helmsman states uh, reveal this maneuver, uh, disable it. So I'm gonna disable the helmsman. Uh, increase or decrease the maneuver speed by one, even if it results uh, in a maneuver that does not appear on the maneuver's dial. I'm going to be placing a hard two, which by revealing the helmsman, I will be reducing it to a hard one, which is super uncanny for, for attack wing. That'll allow me to stay nice and tight to the mission parameters while scanning and grabbing a token. You hope. <laughs> you hope. And then maybe while I'm at it, getting some native shots off to take out poor Benji here. There is a chance. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'm gonna just do a forward one to uh, forward one, just to get behind that asteroid and take my and scan and get a token here. Okay, right. so we have a hard one. Yeah, so the hard one's gonna go off here. Swoosh. And I'm taking a scan token as my action. Alrighty. And a one maneuver for the Excelsior. We'll put us nice and tight in formation. We're about to gun it, eh, buddy? <laughs> it looks clean. We're about to engage full engines here. All right. So then I get my guys here. I really hope it just, like, burns full steam ahead. Oh, you wait. Right, we're going to really we're gonna, we're gonna rock it so, so hard. So just to check, um, you keep stealing the, the other bar here. I don't got one of those ranged ones here. Let me just steal one of those. So you guys are within two. So I'm still closing with, in with, two. With in range three, it looked like. Um, oh no, he's two. Uh, I'm two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're, you're two, right. and you're two. two. Yeah. So yeah. you are both closing on two for my chart. You are directly on the side. Yeah. So let's see what this roll is. This two. is a two, a which is a two. hard two. So I'll do that for you. Two. Thank you, sir. And then he might have a he might have a shot. He does have a shot. So and his buddy is doing a hard two as well. Mm -hmm. Now, there is an obstacle rule in the book. So if you grab the uh, thing, it will change its path to a bank. It says here, ah, swerve to avoid obstacles. Uh, if an enemy's AI maneuver template crosses any obstacle that could deal it damage, check to see if it can swerve. Change the maneuver template described below. So you're gonna go from... A hard bank to a soft bank? To a soft bank. Which makes that a much better turn for me. Yep. So the AI immediately avoids the asteroid, moves in there, doesn't get a shot off luckily, but is starting to scoop around us. Yeah, you guys are just outside of his arc. And the final one, you guys are in this the back third. This is the big third. one. So it's in the back third. Full flip. Uh, didn't I say it? Didn't mm -hmm. I say it was gonna come about? Son of a come about. All right, so he gets the three. So it's a three maneuver and you just place it and then turn the ship around. So you, place it, so you go like this. So you place it as if it was doing a three maneuver, but mm. instead of it coming out this way, it turns around to face me in the face to shoot me. But now, hold on, that is a red maneuver? Yes. It is a red maneuver. Perfect. So there we go. That one, and he'll oh, get one oh, of these. Oh, oh, oh. I think he takes an evade too. He doesn't have a shot. This guy? Does he? Sorry, doesn't, other way yeah, around. Other way around. This one has a shot, around. that one does not. This is a pretty decisive round, friends. This is a pretty big round for us. That guy, I knew he was going to come out. See, that AI. I and does he it. spend his action to lose that ox? Is that what he does? Yep, that's his action. So that ox is gone. Yep. That is everything he's going to do. Okay. Now, he can't fire with that, or he, he can, can still fire. fire. He's just okay. got no... He's so then we'll wait for him to do his thing. He's so got first no we'll do number one, who can shoot. You guys are within two, so he doesn't get any bonuses. So he's going to take three dice, and he's going to shoot right at you, sir. Uh, this will Ooh. be a critical hit and a hit. Hit and crit. Uh, if you roll a little... Closer to here. You. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just well, all, let's roll well, our dice well, in the middle. It's not critical, but we should actually. No, it is a critical. We should actually <laughs> wind it back. So does he spend an action to get rid of He's this? He's three. He's, so it it's says not here. his turn yet. I know. No, no. But he spends his action, not at his attack. Yes. He yes. His that is his so action. So that's gone. Okay. So then we end, hit the end of the activation phase, oh, which that in is order? all that before the combat phase. Yeah. Gotcha. But that's all clear in the rules. So then we'll, let's spend our scan tokens to get our right, mission so tokens. Right. So you're getting mission tokens? Yeah. So we spend them so to that do that way it, you don't have those. Okay. I see how this works. So, I was very eager to shoot you guys. So uh, one and a three. So you get we got odds. There we go. Okay, and then then you roll your attack, which is a hit and a crit. Yeah. You then roll I roll one my evade. evade one I evade. Another evade. So, so I get rid of the hit. Hits yep. first. So I take a crit to my shields, which takes the shield out. 
And now you get to shoot with number three. Number it was three. gross. Then and I he do... has to have a battle station token to uh to convert, yes. Okay, so we're in good shape. You are within two, it looks like what you mean. Uh, it's who do you think he's hitting? You were the closest. This Who's one you? here. Excelsior? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the strange two. Uh, mm, yeah, the tip yeah. of the Excelsior okay. one here is good closest. Call. Okay. I forgot this game has such preciseness to it. All right. So in tournament, what was it like? People been like, yeah, I, I think that's a hair. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. Well, no, that that evade dream had to come to an end at some point. Okay, last two shields are gone. That feels better. We I got feel we better got five hull left on the Excelsior. All right. And that's the end of my turn. So you guys get to do your shots. Are we gonna double down and take these guys out? Now you can technically shoot behind you still. I'm not going to. Well, we're who's gonna, the guy? Gonna... Who's the guy who's hurt? Number one. Number one. And is that he looks like he's range three or is he range two? Uh, he's... He's range two. Yeah, I'm in range two. But don't we want to take this guy out and go straight past him? Because we can out, we can outpace these guys. Okay, so that uh, yeah. You sure. realize the ships are the same speed, right? So I'm gonna do a primary arc shot in range two, four dice, Oof. shooting it down at. How do I get that shot? Good roll. Good roll. <laughs> Oh, one hit. One hit. God, what's so up? he gets two evade dice, which is battle stage, which is nothing. So Clink. one off to so his one shield. shield. Up to you, Excelsior. Boom. One hit. One hit. And no oh. evade. Shields so down. He used up all those evades. Shields down. He used all those evades at Peacocking earlier, and now we're getting our hits. <laughs> well, I have to roll if he rolls. <laughs> it's very simple. Okay. Peacocking. <laughs> okay, so now it's a new round. So we'll swipe all these guys off. Yes. Okay. I'll do those later. <laughs> I'm. I think. I think four forwards the best for me. What do you think? I'm gonna do the same. I think. I think a three bank would be. I think you're cowards and running from a fight. <laughs> I think yeah. you should form a, a come about and eject the warp core. Ooh, can you do that? Can I you? do that. I gotta go four forwards. This is the beginning of round Twice, five, by the way. The they only have ten rounds, so they are halfway out. Yeah, then I'm a little nervous already. But Another at least way we got to put that there. is that they're halfway to losing. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Or we can just hard turn in GTFO <laughs> and just take, be fine with one experience. Take the, take are we going for the glory? Run. We're going for it. So we do have the option. We can try to retreat at this point. Or one of you can just go ahead and leave the other to die. Tom's uh, very familiar with this. I'm not going <laughs> yeah. to have Let's see what they do. I think we have a, f a couple of four right. forwards. So and four forward and four forward? Yeah. And Let's find out. This is the end. This is the fifth turn? This is the start of the fifth turn. Okay. Ready? Couple of four forwards. All right, here's your four forward. All right, here we go. <sighs> Trying to sail past this moron. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle stations. Or should I bring this back? Um, Actually, no, I'm gonna battle stations for now. I think we're gonna get shot. Yeah, this, yeah. This <laughs> Something tells me that's the case. What are you doing? There you go, sir. I'll use my commander action to take those two. Ooh, two actions on the board. Okay. All right. Let's see what my guys do. So number, number one. Okay, so based on the range, you were in the secondary arc definitely at three. In so you were in the black here. Uh, it is a range two. So this will be a soft bank two. Sure. Which I, uh, there it is, soft two for number I one. I remember looking for these things all the time, being like, who's got the two bank? <laughs> It's the one forward that Okay, so South Bank so 2, and point. he has a shot, eh? Does he? Oh, he yeah. Does Range have a 3 shot. has a shot. Yeah. So he will get a... Uh, a battle station battle token. Battle station token. All right. Crap. Next so guy here. This guy. He's he closest is, to me. And that's a flat side shot, yeah. but it is range 3, so he is in the dark. That is 6. That a is a hard, hard three, 3. Which is that there. right there. Is that a void? That's going to be a frustrating experience for us. Uh, oh, no, it puts him in front of God. it. Yeah, it's look perfect. at this, guys. Look at this formation flying with the AI. This is pretty impressive, actually. It's impressive, isn't yeah, it? Okay. It really is. So, this one's here, and we're going to go with our other fellow here. This is the big one. This is the big <laughs> one. All right, you are within one, so he's going to be in the blue. And he's in, my, he's in the Four. left quadrant. He's in this quadrant. We'll put him... He's in the front quadrant, yes. No, he's in the, he's in the side quadrant. If you... The majority oh, yeah, of my ships right. in the you're side right, club. You're right. Okay. So it's still four, so it's gonna be a side, it's gonna be a soft two. So a soft two will mean that he's going to bump. He's gonna bump. Can we change that two to a two forward to not bump? Two forward will cause him not to bump. Then he'll do that and probably still get a shot off on the Excelsior. 
He might be able to. Ooh, I don't think so. No, nope, he will. Oops, sorry about that. Just. Just. No, just now. Just out of arc. Okay, lucky. We but needed he, that. He, that's a, he's getting an extra die there. But he um, evaded. And he gets an evade. Okay. Um, so I have two shots with these guys. Both at range three, I think. Is that yep. the right way? Range. Actually, I think I cut to two here. No, it's three. Just three. barely on that one, but that guy's two. Two on this one. All right. So number one is Ooh. going to fire away with his. This three is dice. the range two. Range three guy. Range three. This so range you have an three. extra green dice. Okay. Uh, two two hits. hits. Come on, Joe. Do you want to spend it? You'll avoid everything. You're going to get the range two for the next one. So that's one evade, one hit. So I take a damage to my hull. Hey, do you want to do that? You're going to take it? Yeah. Right. Oh, no, I have it to. Take one or take two? It was two. Choice. It was two hits. Oh, I could spend the evade, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you should, I think you have to spend it. Yeah, yeah, I'll spend yeah. it. I don't have to, but I will spend it. So, so you're spending okay. the evade and the battle and station? The and the battle station. So no damage spent. yet. No damage yet. All right, second okay. shot. This one's at two. Yeah, so he doesn't get the extra dice. Uh, oh, he's going to no. spend this and turn it into three hits. <laughs> okay, three damage to my hull. <laughs> uh, how much damage can your hull take? Just five. Five. Ah. All right, I'll shoot you more later. It's okay, now you can get out of the way. I'll, I'll soak now. Okay. All right, um, and that is all my shots. So that's everything I get to do with this guy. So I'm just going to take this token away. And it's back to you guys. <sighs> well, you don't get a shot on anything right now. I get a shot, so I'm going to try and kill this guy. With my dorsal phasers. Well, yeah, we still have nothing that's dead. Are you sure you don't need to measure that out? <laughs> now, uh, now you get an extra die for being within range. You should one? see no. if he, either of those, like he's got a battle station. Plus and, one dice. Oh no, that's your within range one. Yeah, but it's uh, for primary weapons. This is a secondary weapon. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I did not know that. I think that's range three. Yeah. Okay. And range three. So I've got a. Uh, so my choices are. I mean, I might as well. Yeah. Uh, I have a question in chat. Uh, do the AI rules uh, state anything about avoiding maneuvers that would cause a bump? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we did. That's why. That's why the uh, this ship is where it is, as opposed to bumping into me. Its original AI was to go to bank, but but it immediately shifts its bank to avoid obstacles. So it's avoiding the ship. It's still pretty clever what it did. Uh, so I will spend my battle stations to get three hits. So I have three Ooh, hits on your so guy. I'm definitely taking damage is what I'm hearing. Well, hopefully. So you get two uh, so evades. He has two evades. So, you take one. so I take one damage. So this card goes onto your hull. Now this is annoying me because this captain's supposed to be my really good one, and he has not been able to shoot a shot yet. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna go into round six, and guess what happens during round six? Uh, what happens in round six? You've been here too long, guys. So more people have have shown up. But there's no more ships. Oh, uh, that's uh, that's where we're at. Round six, player two. We're putting another guy on the board. Apparently, there's no more guys. So then uh, we. No, I, I've got this. No, no, no. So if there. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. No. So that would apply if we had taken one off the board. So does that mean that as soon as you take one off, I get one? I don't know. Put it onto the board? Let's find out, because we didn't kill anybody yet. I mean, that's uh, kind of sad on so, its own. But... Yeah. So it says here, um, actually, it'll be, a, it'll be a rules of play question. It is. Because I don't remember what the exact ruling is based on uh, the amount of work we played on the game. Enemy AI, combat phase. So just to be clear, that was a hard no on the fake board cube? Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna say we're gonna say hard no. no. Um, suffering damage one at a time, broken formations, destroying ships. Next campaign round. I think you're at the so wrong phase. It's the, the beginning, road. opening of the the round, no, not no, the no, end. No, 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 no. But I'm looking for the. Um, yeah, but we do that at the beginning of the phase. Uh, activation. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Planning phase, activation phase. Uh, it says here. <clears throat> Execute maneuvers. Check us. Before that, yeah, it would be perform action, full of stern, come about actions, actions. Yeah, the way. The activation phase. Here we go. Mission set up. Here it is. The game round. Reinforcement phase. Not enough ship models? Question <laughs> mark. I knew it was in here. Aha. In the unlikely event that all enemy models are in play, Perception. remove one or more enemy ships currently on the board, then reuse those models to place a new enemy ship in formation were indicated by enemy ship's table. Always remove the enemy ship with the fewest total shield and hull remaining. So this guy gets removed no, from no. board. That... Sorry, sorry. This Number guy. Number one. Number one. With the fewest, hold on. With the fewest total shields and hull remaining. Or if tied, 
The enemy ship that is furthest from any player ship. Now, the reason it's this guy is that's an elite, and this is just calling in a regular guy. So right. if I had been calling in another elite, I would remove that so guy. So you're going to remove this, this guy from play, play, and right. now you're going to roll to see where now, he comes from. Now, before you put him down, can you do me a favor and throw put him, him on, on the, the spinny rotator? guy? Because there's a bunch of people that have come in that haven't seen the new models. The new there models. you go. Now, I'm going to put the little models, the older ones, down here next to it. Sure. Just so you can see what it used to be like compared to what it is now. This guy's kicking our butt, Joe. There's a chance. It's going to be close. All so right. Shiny they, enough? They, Everyone's yeah, happy? They, well, while shoot. it's rotating, I'm going to roll to find out where he's coming out. He's coming out at section four. That's a shame. Which is, <laughs> is a very good thing for me. And not so good for them. Oh, God. There goes our runaway. I think we're okay. Um, I think that you should just surrender, and we will execute you quickly. Oh my god. Does the Dominion insane. execute? Do we get to eat our prisoners? I never oh, know. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, he's in play now. That's great. Now we get to maneuver. Let's take something nicer. Oh, that's the Enterprise. The only reason why I put that one on there is because it's my OG Enterprise that I painted with some wash, and he's got the, he's got the, uh, the, fl the, the ability to... Fly okay. sideways. Okay, so um, what do you think, dude? I'm gonna go far forward. Yeah, and I'm gonna go. Th I'm gonna three bank. You gonna three bank? Yeah. All right. Let's see what you guys do. Put him down. All right. Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, if you had a second box, would you add another ship instead of removing one? I'm gonna say probably yes. not. Oh, yes. really? Yes. yes. Even if you were still only playing with two players. So there's actually a. We can put it here if you want, man. While I move. Sure. So there's a chart. Now that said. I would say yes, with two players, unless you want to play on a harder difficulty, that you would not um, add a fourth ship. Okay. But there is abilities to what you're doing, you're playing four or six players, and how many more ships you'd have. That's perfect. So at this point, we'd be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So That was some good counting. Well, I'm doing this math <laughs> for a reason. So eleven here. Now, if you had the six players, that means you have three of these box sets. Supposedly, you know, six Federation which ships, which is only nine enemy ships. So at any point, if you had not killed anything in that amount of time, there would be a difficulty gap. Yeah, so you wouldn't have to to fight something that hard. That's it. If you've cleared all the missions before, and want to play them again um, to get a better score, or get more up. XP. You could try to bump it up. What are you doing? Your command I'm gonna, action. Uh, do the command action. Hopefully, the Riker can get you out of this one. We'll see. We'll see how. Lars says he can get me out of this one, but he By says way, you're. <laughs> Crazy Vulcan has accused you of throwing noodles uh, during combat, and I tend to agree. Crazy Vulcan. Yeah, I, I mentioned that I was waiting for you to get something off the board so we could show, and uh, the comment was, "Well, you were throwing noodles." Or like, I've been throwing the worst <laughs> dice. Yes. Um, I gotta, I gotta eat those noodles with pasta sauce. Okay, so we've done our actions. So now you can do yours. So I'm starting with number one, who's I see you refresh the shields. Thank yes, you. Yes, he has all his shields back. So you have a right quadrant, uh, right quadrant number one. So he's in the blue field because yep. you're within range one. Come on, four, two bank, soft bank two. Let me do that. It might be a straight two in the end. No, I think the two banks what he needs uh, to not bomb. You're covering up my. Uh, it's yeah. Okay, sorry. No, no, you're good. I just, I'm trying to move you guys around so that I can keep the board clear, be, but uh, we're evading. fine. Evading, yeah, he cannot shoot on a soft two. Also, Brad says it's time for a Kobayashi Maru. Well, we're getting there. We had that happen It once. feels like the Kobayashi Maru oh, right now. Got, one of us has got to get All right, information go back to the two here. Uh, we're going for a four at a far range. And okay, that's what we are here. So we are our closest ship would be in the top right quadrant. Again. And he is doing a soft three for that reason. Look at that. So we're going to put that here. Look at that, dude. And that's a battle station because he's within range. He is. And he I is think he is heavy at you. within range two. Yep. Oh, 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 no. Boy. Now, my last guy here is facing the wrong direction. So, so we're going to find out what's happening. Ship to him is in this quadrant here. The rear so one? the rear quadrant, yep. Yeah. And range three. And two. he's doing a two, which is a... Three come about. Three come about. Unbelievable. So he will go straight. And turn around turn to chase about. us. And you are in his firing arc. Oh, God, please, so, please. Well, he, got, he gets an auxiliary token, so he has to take his action to remove the auxiliary token. He does. So he gets that, and then he gets rid of it, so he doesn't get any dice quality, but he is a range three shot. Now, this are you could doing the you. scan to get rid of yours? Yes. Yes, definitely. I will use the scan to collect mission parameter two. There we go. So you have one and two, nice. I've got one and two. All right. Joe! 
Look, Buddy, gonna, don't go. We got to get this information back to the Federation. No, I can't. I can't leave you behind. Good news is I get to shoot first. Uh, yes, so. Greedo, we understand. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh wait, wrong one. So, um, oh god, number two is gonna shoot first here. Is this? Yeah, I'm confused. With that's that. a three. Yeah, that's two right there. Okay. Um, so three, three. We dice. need some blanks, and that's range two. Range two. Is range two. We need some blanks. Uh, nope. He has yeah, battle stations though, so this is going to be you. You two have regular to make hits hit and a crit. That's not what I needed. Uh, okay. That look right. So yeah. I spend the evade, and then Cantles take one. The hit and crit. Oh that, no! That's five. Is that you? Yeah. So I'll take so, two. Uh, there was hit. a comment. Those aren't blanks. Uh, do you only get to rotate blanks? No, no, no. Hits? He had. A, he was a regular ship that had battle yeah. stations. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So hit and, and the crit it. is uh, reduce the primary value of this ship's weapon by one. Oh, it doesn't Can count as an no. extra hit. It does. No, yeah, don't so you have five hull? That is correct. Yeah. So if you could pass me that. Oh, he, he's all done now. Class. <laughs> I'll, I'll just give them to you. Let's hope. Let's hope it was enough. Um. Okay. Now I believe that puts you out of my range. Yeah! For this shot. Yeah. The guy in the back cannot hit. Well. The Akira. Uh, Captain, warp nine, <laughs> engage. So we're going to the next round. So what happens in round seven? Anything? Uh, yes, there is a big event. I that can't believe in Joe died. Seven. Look so at that, folks. The yeah. artificial intelligence just kicked the crap out of the in world champion. In round seven, uh, we all discuss the world champion dying to. Uh, <laughs> For, for the good set. of the Federation. For the good of the Federation. He, it was all scripted. Don't read anything into it. <laughs> I'm going to three bank. It was. You no, no, no. God, no. Yeah, you no, weren't no. scripted. They weren't. Well, do, you have, do you have hard three turns? I got a hard three turn, yeah. Is it? It's, it's red, red, though. Yeah. No, no. Do a two. Do a two bank? Hard two? Do it. You're, no, no, okay. Do a three bank. Do a three I was going to do a three bank and then. Three bank, three bank, and then. Three bank, three bank. I need to get distance. Yeah. Agreed. Three bank. All right. I'm doing a three bank. Yeah. I'll set yourself up for it. <sighs> you want to do it for me? Thanks. Mind your head. Yeah, I've already got that token. I'm not doing anything else. Three banks. Three I meant bank. for Joe to mind his head. <laughs> uh, I think I'm putting battle stations there for sure. Oh, there it goes. All right. All right. So number one, you according are... to number one, I am. Morn is half, like directly half. Yep, he's in his half arc. And range you were three. within three. I am not closing at all, so this would be four. So you'll be a hard two on this guy. In the direction toward me. Towards you. Oof. No, this was actually not used last round, but we're here. Oh, boy. That's, uh... That puts you in his range and in his arc. So he will be having a battle station. That's then we'll have a lot of hits. number two, which is this guy right here. And it looks like uh, range three in the, the corner arc. Top arc here. So let's see what happens. Five. Five. Hard three. No, it's or sorry, a soft three. Soft three. So my soft three is over here. <sighs> wow. Two, three. God, am I in range? Yes. Son of a bitch. You are in range. range. It's not looking good. This guy here, so he gets you are the, station. again, top angle. Yep. It'll be on this side technically. Yep, but technically. Six. Six. Hard three. Well, it's not the greatest plan that he's come up with. But, but now hold on, because worst. it might put him in a position where he's going to go off the board. Nope, because he might do it again. There we go. Thank you, sir. It's actually not a bad maneuver. It's not a bad maneuver. It's, it's not, not a great maneuver. And he'll go straight to a, a, a scan. There's nothing else matters. Oh, nothing else matters. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, so I, I shoot. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I get to shoot back though, so okay. don't get too okay. cocky. <laughs> you have to live through the shots. Um, um, so I'm gonna use my battle station to make this three hits. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, I'll get my two dice. Uh, I'll spend my battle stations to you avoid. Don't have a, oh, you do have a battle station. I do. <laughs> I thought you had a base. You are taking a range three shot. It's range two. Means, no, you're about to take a range three shot. So you have an extra dice. Oh, are you saying don't spend I it? Think, what are the odds of you rolling at least one battle station on three dice? Better. My gut tells me to, okay. to, use, to blow the shield off. Second shot. Battle station. Two hits. See? 
one dodge. You went on that math. No, no, it math. The it, same it, maths it, it, out it, the same it, way. The shield goes away. So I'm shields down. So State of Federation says Tom can't attack at range three with his weapon. Uh, the State of Federation says that is I correct. Have a dorsal array. That is very correct. He cannot shoot back. It has to be range. This two. guy's range two. Oh, oh range two. okay. Just checking. Hey, the Federation. I, I read a message. I, I repeat a message. <laughs> that is correct. I got it. Shoot back. Shooting back. What a jerk. <laughs> One hit, though. So. Wait a minute. You get your defense dice. This guy had a blank on his last one. He is my special guy that when he, didn't he shoot. uses this fellow. Oh, no, it's this fellow here. Yeah. Sorry. The back numbers are different yeah, than the that's front why numbers. That, that's why they tell you in the book to put both sides. I can see that now. <laughs> that would be easier. Okay, so I get to dodge with two. And I did not. So you take a hit. Lose I a shield. take a hit. And, and this is on my number one, yeah. who's my new guy. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I'll take him down. Okay, new maneuvers, right? I was all excited there for a minute. Yeah, you get to place things. I'm going three again. This elite has been very disappointing. So I've, I've avoided interrupting with this, but uh, um, give us a, I'm going to dump the socials in chat and just... Uh, Give us a, we're doing this for the next few weeks. Give us a quick, uh, what we're doing over the next few weeks with this. With this? Yeah. Uh, so, we're, well, we're not even done after this. We're going into scenario no, two. No, absolutely. We're doing two scenarios tonight, and then we're going to next week, same time? Uh, for the same for the same stream? Yeah, we'll be yeah. here again next week. Is it uh, more attack wing, or is it... Uh, I thought next week was uh, Heart of Crown. Heart of oh, Crown, which is okay. games. And then week after that, we'll If you follow all yes. of our Facebook yeah. and socials, we'll, uh, Thursday nights will be our, our board game night. This one here is Attack Wing. We have another sponsor for a different game next week, and then we're going to come back for Attack Wing until we're done all, all six missions. Uh, and then we might just play it for fun, because this is pretty exciting. Or we might even do a competitive one just for fun. That's me, the blurb I was me, me versus you. Me versus Joe. <laughs> yeah, well, we know how that goes. <laughs> Someone's a world uh, champion, so someone is So I definitely not. want this, or... Do I want to say un unable this? No, you I definitely, definitely don't care stations. about it. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was the move you made? You did yeah, seem I'm like done. you went anywhere. Oh, well, I went somewhere. Um, okay. Uh, all right. If that, if you're happy with that. In hindsight, the, the auxiliary round three would have been a so much better. So number one, the, you're uh, the right in his primary, so I'm going to mm -hmm. roll for it. He rolls a six. He's forward two. That's trouble. Yeah. It's okay. Ben's going to roll blanks. We're good. It's range two. He doesn't seem to have that proclivity. That's I'm a DM. Yeah. <laughs> I do what is ever best for the The other story. guy is in my front arc. Uh, he is also in your front arc. Yep. One. One. He four, will go four. forward four. Oh my god! Um, what is happening right now? How are these? How is this ship AI kicking my butt? It is whatever is best for the story. He is in the side arc. Side arc completely. Range three. It is a one. It is a one soft back. one. Okay, you're rolling. This guy has a battle station too. Right? Yeah, they both yeah. do. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. This well, guy's that guy's prepping, just going to scan. What is this, this round so seven? Disappointing. This is round eight. This is round eight. Yes. Well, if I can survive so, long enough, I just uh, auto-retreat. Yeah. yeah, but you'll... He's there, and there should be one more battle station right there. All right. Let's fire some guns. So you're within range two of that guy, so no dice either way. He's going to fire. Uh, use his battle station to be one hit, one crit. I'll roll uh, Now, isn't that... who? Where's the elite... Guy. Elite's over here. Yeah, he's I'm, disappointed. I'm, I'm escaping okay. the elite. He's done nothing. He's just been sitting here being Good sad. Thing. I will. What do you think? You yeah, want to take that crit? Is that range two? two? It's two range two shots. And don't forget, yeah. this will be a crit. I don't on want here. a crit on me, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna spend that and avoid the shot. That is reasonable. And this one is this also range two? I know you can tell from your eyes, but I, I don't know if it is or not. Is it range it two? Looks like looks three. It's just out. That's three. Mm. Yeah. Yep, three. Cool. So you get the bonus dice for that. I'm only saying it because you Ooh, need it. One solid That's what we needed. stinky hit versus nothing. nothing. Oh, it goes through. <laughs> Damn it. And so how much hollow points do you have? Five. Just for no reason. I need to know this. That's five. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> one hit on my hull. We got it. Now I get to shoot back. The Empire shoots back. I'm going to shoot here. The one you can shoot at? Yes, the one I can shoot at and the one that I hurt last turn for a whopping boom, boom. Ooh, now we're getting boom. somewhere. All right, this might be good. This might be good. Ooh, one one of, eight. of eight. So I will take one to my shield and then the crit goes through. Here's the crit card. Ready? Yep. Injured captain. This ship cannot use any of its captain Bring it tech. closer a bit oh. so that they can see it. Down a bit. Right into your right that, yeah. up to That's you. what I did to him. Injured. This ship cannot use any tech from its captain or any of its upgrades. So basically, Ooh, it's the equivalent of just one hit, which stinks. No, no, no. Let's leave it up as a crit so everyone can see the fact that it, it's it, this has happened. You've hey. done this. Hey, he's trying to take me on. It's not working. Be proud. I'm proud. <laughs> okay. There is only one maneuver. 
I would I would agree. <laughs> if it's uh, not a forward four, I don't know what actually, you're doing. Actually, yeah, what is the other maneuver? Uh, at this rate, they're getting no XP. <laughs> no, uh, if he gets away, I Joe know. will still I get know. one. Yes. Yeah, Joe will get one, yeah, I will get two. Yes. If I do blow them yeah. up, they get nothing. Correct. Yeah. This, so I think four forward is my only real option. Sure. All right, four forward. Thank you, Joe. This guy out of the way. And are you doing a battle station into that? Oh, here we can put the Excelsior here because that way, oh yeah, you dead, can see we have a new, new ship. Yes. Now, do we have an older version of the Excelsior here also, too? Also, I didn't realize that Sir Robin play uh, was a so Star Trek officer. Here's the Sir thing. Robin? They're going to bravely, bravely, bravely ran bravely. away. <laughs> This is quality, and there was but much I unable this. That's turn, exactly I can get out. So the Even gamblers, I don't think the Robin's Robin's So you don't think it gets me off? Four plus one is five? You don't think a five gets me off there? I don't think so. So we're in nine now, right? You're in round nine. You have one round left after this. I gotta go for quality. No? So the question we're debating right now I think is you do, because you have a good chance of surviving two attacks with the So you think I do this? Station. Yeah, yeah, so Battle Station is. What we were debating on doing here, and I'll put this in close-up just so people can see, uh, is that we were debating, as my action, removing, removing the disabled on my helmsman, so the next turn I get the extra one on my four, and that potentially five forward would take me off the field. But we've decided that five forward is not going to take me off the field. Maybe six forward if I was the Enterprise, but... Six, I think, would So do. instead... I was just asked if uh, injured captains count as skill zero. It just says that they cannot use any of its... The yeah. text of its captain. Okay. So, the text, yeah. So, okay, that's it for that, me. No, that's a good question. I would like to hear an answer. Is there, that... Well, it says it takes the text, not the, not the well, captain's skill. Says my only text is captain's No, but that, is that an injured captain crit? They're talking about another crit, right? No, just, this is, uh, yeah. you cannot use the injured captain. Yes, it is. Oh, it yeah. is an injured captain. Yeah, that captain. is injured captain. Yeah, yeah so now, then it This it captain doesn't... actually has text. So you, you would get rid of the text. So I, I he still says it's skill He's one, though? One, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, go ahead, Ben. Yeah, let's roll for number one. Out. Where's he my is, guy? Here we go. He is in the corner arc, I you believe. You are three away at any time. Yeah. Uh, so you are in the corner arc for this guy. He is a three, which is a soft two. Yeah, that's not good. You're, you're staying yeah. tight on me here. You guys are making it hard for me to keep you in frame. All right. He gets the battle stations. The next one is a Let's corner arch as him. well. And he gets a six, which is a hard three. Ooh, that's See actually a, that's actually a, a not, so he's going to, I think that's going to put him into the asteroid. It will not. No, no, it, no. Won't, it won't hit the asteroid. It'll actually keep you in his arc too. It'll be out of his arc. Yeah. Mm, it's close. I think you're in. Am I in? Looks like he's out. Pass me a range ruler. Range ruler. Yeah, he's out. Oh, oh penguins. Ah. Big, All right. big stroke of luck. This guy who does absolutely nothing, who can do nothing, Corner I will roll arc. for him. Corner arc. Two. He gets a two. two. bank. He will bank softly two. Softly two, which I have. Now, there is something to be Straight said about there. the fact that he's to avoid an obstacle. He could have turned that into a three bank. Or a soft rather than a Because hard. that's putting him, so according to the rules of play, because the AI is a lot smarter than that. It says according to avoid an obstacle. Let me read this again just to make sense. Because I think sort of to avoid the obstacles. Um, if an enemy's AI maneuver template crosses an obstacle that could deal with damage, check to see if it can swerve. Change the maneuver template. Note, enemy, a, uh, enemy AI ships only swerve to attempt to avoid obstacles that can deal damage. AI ships do not swerve to overlap other ships. We goofed up earlier when that captain, that ship there, Banked away. Yes. So, have. so in theory, it should have bumped, and it probably would have killed both of us. And it says only when I cross. So we'll leave that on there. Uh, so we for. did a slight ooh ooh earlier. It was it was detrimental enough. I think that the AI would have won. If it doesn't kill me, this I turn, think the AI still might win. Out. So let's yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not wrapping. I'm not wrapping so this up yet. These two can't be uh, dealt yeah. damage at all. They're they're fine where they are. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to put scans on them and we'll ignore them for the most part. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of these dice. So you have two. You have these two right now. Uh, no, that guy can't fire. Oh, that's right. So he's just. You're right. These right. two are just scans. So take a shot on me. All right, that's a crit and a hit. I'm um, going to roll two dice and get one evade. So you'll take a crit. And the crit I take on is... On engine damage. The ship... Another injured captain. I did shuffle these. <laughs> okay. So I've damage. got three hull left. I don't know if I can get off this Last board. round. Round 10. So I just have to survive this round to get away. You just have to survive. And I think there's no way for my guy to avoid this asteroid. Yeah, that's good. 
I think you still want to do a four forward just to try and get to range three, right? You think so? Yeah. Um, or do I want to do a three bank like there? This? Yeah. I think a three bank. Sure. You think? Because then I'm swerving away from this guy and keeping out of range for that guy. Four forward would do the same. So it's potato, potato. No, 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 because four forward's gonna put me over, put me here, and that guy can swerve this way, but if I'm over here, he's gotta swerve further. If I cross the asteroid, I hit it, don't I? I'm gonna do three bank. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a maneuver that is gonna stop you from... So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So no matter what, he stops at that asteroid, doesn't I'm he? I'm not sure no, it's gonna matter. Really it. Oh. I'm not sure it's gonna matter, but State of the Federation thinks you should shoot. Oh, should. yes. I forgot to shoot, go back. I do get a shot. State of the Dominion does not like this. Let me, let me roll. <laughs> Thank you, State of the Federation. <laughs> oh, hit. Not a bad Crit. roll. Not a bad roll. Not a bad roll. He evaded. So no, now no. we can move. He, didn't he have to spend that battle station when he shot? He did. Oh, so did that's he? that's another crit to him. Yeah. That's dead. Um, they, they have no. three hull. They oh, they have three hull. But I do get... Are you going to toss, toss it up so we can see? This ship suffers one uh, hit. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> so he is taken off the board. He can join the dead. So now the here. three bank makes even more sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I'm definitely going to put a battle station there, please. State of the Federation uh, claims an assist. Uh, we will get. Would be State a of the Federation. Assist. You get an assist. Give You're him, part. You give get, him the kill. Yeah, you get the kill. You don't get the assist. You get the kill. In fact, when we buy the next, when I spend the XP from potentially winning this, uh, and we well, get a operations officer, you what, can be the what, operations. What officer. damage? <laughs> what damage do you have? How much damage do you have? He has one, uh, two. I have two. You have two. Okay. Well, what do you think of repair? If you only had one, then you'd take the evade because it's. It's only yes. attacking with three dice, right? Okay, what's two going to do? Um, well, we're going to talk about this. So the first thing that's going to happen is he's going to hit an asteroid. Now, what happens when I hit an asteroid? Because I'm not familiar with we'll that. We'll do that in a sec. First roll. So you're in the top corner I here. I am in the top arc. You are going to be doing a... Four, which is a... Three bank. Three bank. There is no way for you to avoid that asteroid. None at all. Oh, where's the three bank? This is it. There's no way for you to avoid the asteroid. So you're going to cross through, and you're going to take... It's a D, it's a, it's, you get to roll one of these, and if it comes up as a hit, you take damage. All right, so let's see how this goes. It's a blank. No damage. So, ha, ha, ha. But you have no action economy. <laughs> so I can just shoot, just but I can't straight place dice. All right. That guy up there is in the forward arc at a He's distance. in the forward arc, full distance. I had a dice. I rolled it. It's hard to find again. And you are rolling a five. So he's going straight forward, too. I mean, he is just You the... seem to roll really high with that guy, so he's out He's out of the fight. He's been out of the fight the whole time. So make he's, your he's... make your attack roll on this guy. Range three. Okay. And if I survive this shot... Three hits. One's okay. a crit. You have three evade dice. So if these are blanks. Battle stations. Well, one battle station. We're oh. not out of the woods yet. So that is one point of damage. One crit. <laughs> if this is a direct hit, I'm dead. It is not. Treat bring, all bring it. Treat all hard maneuvers as red maneuvers. <sighs> so I have one hull left. And it is now round 11, which states in the story... You automatically I retreat. automatically retreat, which means... Let's do the uh, let's do the cleanup here. So, mission parameter 1 and 2. Okay, so what one happens two. is there's actually something that we're supposed I to read off one. when you succeed. Yeah, 1 and 2. So, success. Yes, here we go. You have an odd and an even uh, mission token, which means that each player will be receiving 1 XP for each one. If your ship blew up during this, that player will receive one fewer. Damn. Success. The fact that your patrol escaped into the mirror, or sorry, into a minor Wow. The fact that your pro patrol escalated to a minor skirmish with the Dominion is regrettable, but at least you came out on top, and we now have a clearer picture of the en enemy's capabilities. Begin the campaign. Proceed to Act 2. Dun, dun, dun. So, you guys have done the introduction to this game. Hooray! We did it. So You we died, got Joe. I know, but we got the information so let's back. So, let's talk about this for a second. Well, hang on. Before we go there, uh, we are going to do more. We're not wrapping up now. We're, We're going to do another we one scenario. more coming up. Uh, and you're going 
it. You're going to talk us through it a bit. Do we want to take a break? Between we'll take a break right after we're yeah. done talking about All this right. to reset the board. We'll take five minutes to go to the bathroom, grab a bite to eat. Sounds good. A few minutes. We'll, we'll but before that, let's talk about this for a second. What are your thoughts? Well, I did, I knew that AI was good. I knew it was going to take one of us. My plan was it for it to take you, but <laughs> <laughs> you forced me into being noble. <laughs> I believe that was called Operation Meat Shield. Yeah. But, um... So what was interesting about it is uh, I think the AI would have won if we had read the small AI rule, uh, which was the ship would have overlapped my ship. It would have bumped my base and would have got a f uh, front arc fire. With an extra four. die. With an extra die converting blanks. Yeah. Would have been the damage difference. Most likely would have been the damage difference, which would have taken my character off the board. Which means that we would have had our stuff blown up. And, success, and failure would have been there. Assuming that, was there is there a failure text? There is a failure text. Let's read it, because so, let's assume that was the case, because the AI is that intelligent, I think that the AI actually had the edge on this one, and that there was a, a game error. Your orders were to avoid a battle with the Dominion, Shame. and now the task force has taken severe damage as a result of your reckless actions. Retreat to Deep Space Nine to repair and regroup. You may replay this mission, or begin the campaign and proceed to Act 2. Okay. So the difference between experience. an ass chewing and uh, success is actually getting the sensor data. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is crazy. So we'll say we get the XP. I think so. so we can uh, you guys did win. Small mistakes forward. were made, but yeah, it's... there was also a, a request for you guys to do some upgrades. So we'll we'll see. Oh, we'll, we'll definitely. Yeah, we want to upgrade because people want to see the upgrades. But I want to see sure. you guys get the XP. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take five minutes. We're gonna go grab more drinks. Go to the bathroom quick. Clean the board up a little bit, and we're gonna get right into the second round. Maybe slightly longer than five minutes. Well, yeah, we always say five minutes. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
a minty girl guy cookie dissolving in my mouth. And it's delicious. Welcome back to Six Sides of Gaming here tonight. Um, playing Star Trek Alliance. And uh, wow, we just had the first scenario, the introduction, introduction of the game. Let's talk about it. We, uh, we, had, uh, we had a casualty. I have the taste of defeat and also a little bit of victory in my mouth, so at least we got there. It's hoppy, it's a little hoppy. <laughs> a little hoppy. <laughs> you know, it's not as sweet as I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I barely got away with only one haul left, which could have been a really bad turnover on the crit. It could have been a deal one extra damage and that would have been the end of me. Surely, if the crit on you wasn't that extra damage and you had a second round of shots off on me, that would have been the end of me. So I really like games when you're playing them that it feels like you get by the skin of your teeth. Um, and it's funny because we, we've been just starting this board game stuff last couple weeks. So two weeks ago we were playing Terminator. It was the same feel. Skin of the it was teeth. Just barely getting through missions, which I really like. So seeing that in this, seeing the AI being able to do that to you guys, it, it feels good. Well, we lost Hero Quest last week. We did. Yeah. That, that was pretty much the party I was just going to ask if you just completely like repressed Hero Quest or if that was... Well, we were getting there. Hero Quest. We lost Hero Quest <laughs> um, time. I'm going to point out that... Um, yeah, I guess you won. Uh, you yeah, the I wizard. did win. Yes, yeah. it was. Oh, correct, yeah. correct. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're also going to let you guys know that we have, uh, before we get into scenario two, We've got this cool little USS Enterprise expansion pack, old school. Uh, the OG Enterprise. Hard to come by these things nowadays. Give it away free. I will mail it to you if you win. Uh, I believe Adrian, our tech in the side, has told you how to do this, but just to give uh, a quick reiteration. I'm, I'm posting it right now. Uh, just uh, normally we give them some sort of a word. Yep, and I'm gonna, I, I'm, I think Excelsior needs to be our word. In okay. memory of our fallen Excelsior comrade that died The backbone of the Federation. The backbone please. of the Federation, Excelsior. So uh, you'll highlight, the, I think, I believe uh, there's a, uh, how does it work, Adrian? Uh, well, uh, I just posted a chat, but uh, just go down to channel point rewards and select enter the giveaway. It only costs 10 points, so. But you have to be hard. subbed in order uh, to. It is for subs, yep. so if you've been gifted a sub or you've subbed to the channel, uh, hit that up. And, and at the end of the stream, we will roll to see who gets this. Okay, so, wow, here we are. Scenario two. Uh, as you can see, the scenario has been set up. The well, it's started. Started to be set up. There's, there's some things we're going to go through. But before we get to the scenario, we've got some upgrading to do. I have two experience points, and you have one. That's right. But, <laughs> but we can't save our first rounds of experience, so what are, you, what are we doing here? Well, no, we still have what we spent. We couldn't unspent we couldn't right because what josh didn't want people doing is not spending five points and then dumping it all into skill right now mm -hmm. very smart and getting their captain skill very smart math early. josh speaking of just for those of you who are new to show the uh the lead designer of this josh dirksen was so we were hoping to have him on tonight via skype but there have been some severe technical difficulties in terms of skype and some of the programming we couldn't get him on we will work to rectify that issue so that the next time we come and play scenarios three and four, Josh will be here to talk about the design aspects. And if you're still watching, Josh, let us know. And if you're still watching, super apologies if we've made any boo-boos. I know there was already one AI issue that I made where the AI would have been smarter than I assumed and would probably have resulted in us failing the mission. So, whew, crazy. Uh, so we got some upgrades. Let's go to the upgrade thing. And let's take a look at what we got. Are we allowed to pick captain skills yet? No. So my question would be, and this is interesting, um, with your XP that you've gained, mm -hmm. you guys have gained two and one respectively, mm -hmm. can you sell previous upgrades? So Tom has three points in crew, three points in weapons. Um, if he puts two more points in weapons to up to five, can he get rid of his dorsal phaser array to install a new module? I believe that's correct. Yes, yeah. because that okay. it's, we get the, the pool to choose from, but what we can equip on our ship for the mission is, uh, unless it states otherwise. No, as far as I understand, that's right. Now, I that think... said, I am, in case someone's joined us later, I have never played Attack Wing until tonight. I tried the Star Wars one once when it first came out with my brother. We played it once and went, ah, this game's kind of crap. And that was the end of it. So uh, I apologize if you're a fan of the, uh, the Star Wars one. It's a great game. It's uh, a great game. It just wasn't for me. So... We, we tried this 
and, and I, I watched a YouTube video to learn how to play, which didn't answer a lot of my questions. So <laughs> we're going from that, and I'm looking forward to this. It's been a lot of fun, even though I am just acting out the AI card that comes with the game. Uh, it has been really educational and interesting, and this is making me really want to play this game, actually. You know, I never... I'm There's never, a lot of strategy that I, I didn't expect that layer of it to be so intriguing. It never ceases to amaze me um, how the AI works. And I've played this, I've played this in testing so many times, and it just... It, it, I can't believe how uncanny the movements were. Well, they zeroed in on us when they <laughs> needed to, right? <laughs> well, they zeroed in, they flew together, there was a formation for a lot of it. It was really interesting to watch it happen. Okay, so, um, let's get into our upgrades. Here we go, upgrade cards. Uh, we get to upgrade our stuff now, and let's figure out what we're going to spend on them. I have two experience points. I could give myself a captain skill, because I think maybe starting to pop off some, some shots at the beginning would be good. And if I put one, two points into my captain skill, shading the points up, I'll get what looks like an elite benefit. That's right. Yes. But which, which is worth taking a look at. And I know the viewers probably want to see some of these cards. So if you want to go to this, this uh, close-up section that we've got built up, we can take a look at some of the cards. So here's some of the elite benefits that we could choose. Uh, so let's go there. It's calculating. And it's attack phase. Discard this card. Uh, I'm not always... I like the discard cards, but they're, they're pretty clutch if you use them right. Uh, this game round, the captain's skill is, is, uh, of this equipped ship is 10. So if we really want to hit home, hmm. I can use that card. Inspiring which is how I like to play my missions. Mm -hmm. uh, planning phase, target a friendly ship. Within range, one. Remove an auxiliary token beside the target ship. That's pretty good. So these are the costs down here? These are the costs, yes. Let's check. So Wing leader. When a, friendly ship is with, uh, when a friendly ship within range is attacking or defending, that ship may re-roll one battle station. So if you don't have a battle station, you can re-roll it. Hmm. I just have it, but it's range one. So we'd have to be really tight. That's a we really were good. for most of our things, but we that would have been really good. useful we for you, right? Uh, evasive pattern delta. It's a three cost, so I could replace my helmsman with it. Um, um, no, you'd have to have three points on your skill level, wouldn't you? No, 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 no. I just need to get a captain skill. Um, spend an evade token beside this ship and discard this card. Perform a maneuver with speed two uh, of this ship's maneuver dial. That's not bad. Extra maneuvers are always good. Yeah, it's actually almost better than Helmsman in some capacity or form. And I think this is perhaps the most interesting card in the pack coming up next. Battle Hardened. When a ship spends a Battle Stations token, place one time counter. Do we have a time counter over there? So yeah. That's it on this card. This one's really cool. Because the time counter, uh, when the time counter goes out, you get another... You actually Sorry, get it I'm when confused. you spend the battle station token. Yeah, when you spend it, you get the token. What does the token do? So you take a battle station, and mm -hmm. why it's yeah. good for the Akira yeah. is you take a battle station on the Akira. Yeah. You want to use it to attack. Yep. Yeah. When you use it to attack, you get another one, which now you've got kicking around oh, for defense. Oh, I see. So the time token lets you redo the something. The time token is actually there as a bit of... Uh, a delay. Good rule, rule. No, it's because when a time token is on an upgrade, its text doesn't function. So when you spend the battle station the second time, you're not going to get another one. Right? So you don't get two. You're getting two. Stations. You're getting two a turn, not you know six. If you yeah, get, yeah. You know. So okay, now just so I understand this, these XP costs, where do they range on your field? They don't. You get a you get one of these upgrades, uh, but you still, have to pay, have... you still have to pay the points. Uh, so I think you right. actually have to hit the no, points I think on you're right. there in order yeah, to yeah, qualify you're right, for you're it. You're right. You're right. So there you go. Well, uh, so we can't get these ones yet because I've, if I shade in two levels, I'm only going to be able to get a level two. So wing leader, uh, evasive pattern delta, and battle hardened must be for when I'm hardened in battle. <clears throat> so I could get those if I decide to shade in my my captain card to two. Currently I have shaded in uh, three levels here and three levels here for my weapons and my crew. Yes. Now also, if I shade one, two of my experience, I get options for other crew tech or, or sorry, crew weapons or tech. Let's take a look at some of the techs while we're here. So we've got impulse efficiency. There we go. Um, executive maneuver step. Sounds like a 
Yeah, if this ship performs a white maneuver, place two time tokens on this card. Remove one auxiliary token beside the ship. <coughs> it's really, really useful. When you, because when you get auxiliary tokens, you don't uh, do this because you're AI, but when we get auxiliary tokens, um, you have to do a green we have to do a green maneuver to get rid of it, yeah. otherwise we can't make maneuvers. So that's actually, Impulse Efficiency is a really good card. Uh, impulse Upgrade, treat this ship's uh, bank two, bank straight two, or other bank two Ooh. maneuvers as green. That's diamonds. Now this one was a cost one, so you could have taken that last round. That's true. That's true. We might still. We might uh, still. So, for example, I've got a couple of cool maneuvers that are red. They come about. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ben, can you uh, do me a favor and just put your hand just like this uh, on this side of the cards? Yep. Perfect. Oh, is it there, was, there was just a bit of glare. Uh, no. We've got uh, improved hull plating. When defending during the modified attack step, convert one crit to a hit. That would have been life saving for mm -hmm. some of us. Detection grid. Combat phase. If there is a scan token beside the ship, one to three. Uh, opposing ships that are both in range and in this ship's primary fire arc, roll one fewer defense dice when defending against another friendly ship. And that is range one to three. Another friendly ship. Mm -hmm. That's uh, good. Wording like that is very key in this game. Reinforced shielding adds plus two to the shield value, which could have been... Could have been nice. Now, there was nice a thing about having that for the... Uh, the Akira off the bat was having the reinforced shields and the yep. reinforced weapons. The, the pre-builds were, were pretty good. Subspace field, kind of interesting, can't afford it right now. Uh, remove all auxiliary tokens. So you can have, beside all ships, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, besides Jesus. all ships. God. In range one. In range one, that's but still, good. that's like that, that's circumstantial, which is pretty good. And then, of course, uh, the emergency medical hologram. Uh, please state the danger of your emergency. Fa uh, planning phase, place two time tokens on this card. Remove one disabled token on a crew upgrade. Really good for my helmsman. Mm -hmm. That trade, it gets you that extra use. I'm very right? glad it costs four and you can't take it right now. It's, <laughs> it's very good. So those are some of the upgrades we could choose. And then, of course, we've already seen the crew from last time. We could, in fact, do operations officer, uh, science officer, or tactical officer. If I wanted to spend XP to get my higher level on crew, one of us could do that. Uh, we could reroll any number of attack dice, which is not bad if we're going to go combat oriented. That's a four. Uh, science yeah. officer placed two tokens, uh, scan tokens beside the ship. That would have been great. Now here's a question that I should ask you guys. Before you spend your upgrade points, do you want to hear the flavor text on the mission you're about to embark That makes some sense. Do we get to do that? I don't know. Well, certainly we'd be decked out for we can, our yeah, let's, mission. Yeah, we're going to hear our mission. So yeah, well, let's hear. Let's give you the mission briefing. Let's do it. Stardate. 49428.3. Two weeks ago, our long range scouts discovered a planetary system in the Gamma Quadrant Ooh. with unusual energy emissions. Initially, we suspected that it might be related to Dominion activity, but when a more detailed scan revealed no Dominion presence in the system, we quietly sent several survey teams to investigate. Interesting. Their last transmission indicated our activity had been noticed by the Dominion. Reach them as soon as you can and get them out. An encounter with Dominion ships is probable. Be prepared to defend the planet until you can rescue our people and retreat. Godspeed, Captain. So uh, I'm going to take this opportunity. I was just doing some bookkeeping, but uh, Richter, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Wow, That's awesome. wow. Thank you, thank Richter. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Thank you. And welcome to the subs who have been gifted. People yes. who have been gifted subs, welcome to the community. We, we hope you stick around and check out some of our other programming. And if you're just gifted a sub, uh, yeah, we do we've, have been, we've been keeping them up to date on the Yeah, giveaway. you can enter the uh, the, con the contest. Okay, so with that note, we're going to be going to a planet. Um, captain skill might be useful. Well, I think I'm going to dump mine into captain skill. So you get captain skill too? Yeah. Head up to captain skill too, I think. I think I'll do the same, but I'll go to captain skill two. So I'm going to shade in two, so I can now choose either a tech or another upgrade. So do I want to keep the dorsal phaser arrays? They were pretty good, but were they were they that good? I think they're going to be good around the planet. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Do I... So just so I understand this, I'm going to put the card up here. If you have a skill in here and you reach the second box, you can now add that skill yes. to the ones down here to a limit of three. I think that just adds the slot, doesn't it? It adds the slot, yeah. So, so you have a tech slot, or whatever you want, but probably... Oh, so you can add an additional... Yeah, so I don't have any more But he's still, he'd still have has to... Has the cap of three. Yeah. So, yeah. so now I can, add a, I can add a captain skill. So here's the question. 
Maybe with the Captain you want uh, an elite talent? Do I want here. an elite talent? Do we? There's do... some other ones though. Are there any elite talents that are? Yeah, we're the ones who are the. There's. Uh, there might be behind a the pile there. These ones I can't buy yet. We, we are can, always prepared. I can only no. Uh, <laughs> there was a pile of them somewhere. I don't know where they went. I think they're behind here. Yeah, there they are. They got mixed in. Um, so I really have the only the option of getting inspiring, or calculating. Yeah, they're not. Good. What's calculating Cal doing? Okay, uh, let's me become Captain Skill Ten for one round. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. I don't want that right now. Uh, but I could inspiring. I could do target a friendly ship. For removing auxiliary token. No. So what I'll do is I will just put two points into my Captain Skill so that next week or two weeks from now when we come back I can actually. Uh, Get some. Put some XP into going higher up and get some better things. So, so okay. You, yeah, you want to be working towards. So I'm gonna keep harder. my ship as is. Are you gonna keep your ship well, as is? Well, you get to just take this though. Mm -hmm. Why not? You might as well take no, it. No, I gotta pay for it. Uh, no, you you'd have the two XP, so you could spend. Oh, it Oh, that's that. right. Yeah. I'm taking inspiring. I'm inspiring. That does seem like something you would take. Yes. Being I'm the proper inspiring gold Captain, Captain Kirk. Wannabe. So. Where's our setup? Let's set well, this up. Well, first, I believe we have to see an upgrade from you. Did you choose any? Uh, yeah, Captain Skill. He's so only... I don't get into the talent game yet, but I do have a Captain, He's a Captain Skill. Now, you still have Tech 1. Did you want the Tech 1 upgrade that was in there? Yes. I mean, I am the Dominion and want to see them dead, but I want it to be proper. There we yeah, go. Yeah, and based on the last round, I don't think you need any help. So... No, no. <laughs> um, and it really entertained me, though, to destroy the world champion. I'd like to say that victory was an assist on my behalf, but a full, we'll, uh, full kill for can, Josh, who uh, designed the AI. I don't think we can credit you with destroying anyone. No, no, no. <laughs> Again, I'm taking that as an assist on my behalf, but a full credit to Josh for okay. designing the AI. So, these asteroids are all in place randomly. They've all been properly separated. Once now, what is again, the setup? Your side of the board, just this side here, is considered Federation. Everything else is Dominion. So, you guys can place your ships anywhere. Did their ship show up before? With one. I'm about to find out. Um, so, our setup here. We have player deployment area within one on that side. Yep. Six asteroids randomly laid out. Now, we just threw these on the map. Um, let's see here. A planet. Check. Yep, check. And uh, that's what we got for that. So, objectives. Rescue the survey team. Collect at least half of the mission tokens. Where are mission tokens? Here, mission tokens here. Place them on the planet, please. How many? There's a bunch. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, it says collect at least half, round it up, of mission tokens. Are we doing all the mission tokens? Apparently you get all the mission tokens. Uh, half of these, round it up. Yeah, okay. Then the ships well, carry these tokens. Now, we probably should check the rules to ensure that that's actually the case. Yeah. But in the right. meantime, we'll go from this. When a ship carrying these tokens retreats from Federation edge of the board and returns to the survey team to Federation space. If at least half of these are collected, each player receives one XP. If all the mission tokens are collected from the planet, each player receives an additional XP. Now, it will be impossible for you guys to collect that many tokens. So, yeah, what, how do you collect the token? Are they, uh, it's a they stay on the planet? Again. They stay on the planet? Uh, beaming up the survey team at the end of an activation phase, a ship within one of the range one of the planet may spend one or more scan tokens. So I feel like the total of tokens on here should be four, judging by last missions having one of each. But let's double check that. Yeah. Um, oh, hold on. Survey team setup. Place the number of mission tokens equal to the uh, players plus one. So there's three of them. Okay. Well, that that's less. More that makes it more reasonable. That is much less exciting. We know that all the rules, the questions that we're asking are there. Are they there? We just, just need to ask them. those questions, yeah. or maybe we're doing it for your sake. We're not. This <laughs> is just fumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, retreat options. Captains may retreat at any time from the Federation edge. So if you guys get all the tokens, all three, you each receive an additional XP. So you can get a max of two XP on this mission. Uh, at the end of round 10, all remaining players automatically retreat. Uh, destroyed players, these players gain one fewer XP. So try not to blow yourselves up. Yeah, Joe. Joe. <laughs> that was really insane. That, that was good. It also matched my head, so it wouldn't really work. <laughs> so, rescuing the survey team. Uh, if you get out, yep. Planetary bombardment. During the combat phase, a Dominion ship will attempt to bombard the planet and kill the survey team if all of the following conditions are true. There are mission tokens on the planet, correct. 
The Dominion ship is within range one of the planet and ha within its firing arc. The Dominion ship does not have any Federation ships it can attack. So we want to put our ships in the way sometimes. Roll one attack die. On a hit or critical hit, remove one mission token from the planet and return it to the box. So this could be just the sum zero if they blow everything up. Just before we get going here, I'm going to throw up the close-up of the ship, just in case anyone hasn't seen uh, the new ships. Look how shiny version. number one is. Shiny. Now, again, Very I'm nice. not an experienced uh, attack wing player at all. This is my first time playing. But we do have some of the older ships on here. And yeah. I just want to say the detail level on the newer ones is just a little bit better across the board as someone who has never really seen them. Yeah, the ships are quite pretty. They are just... So where does the enemy deploy? Zone? Well, off the bat, I get my first Dominion wing, wing one. Uh, he is going to show up at number three. So right away, they're going to go toward the planet. Right away. Now, they here's the next part I get to do. I get to roll two di or this dice twice to and see deploy where they go. two more. Two. So it'll be one at two. So over here, so we'll put two at two. Number two at two. Number th one at number three. And the last one will deploy at five. five. Way over there. All right. That's well, there's no nowhere safe. A little bit better information for you guys too. Yeah, that's a that's a doozy. My God. Oh no, I'm sorry. We don't actually get the guy at number five yet. Oh shoot. That only like, happens if we have one additional. I was player. like, I know Josh is punishing, but wow. Well, <laughs> Josh is not mean. He's not cruel. So number two here will be an elite. Oh what? Which I will randomly deal, so I don't use the exact same elite I did. Yeah, last so we time. do have a lot of elite ships. They all have different special. They elements. all have different abilities. So our elite will be... There's two shields for you. When attacking, if the ship shields? has no active shields, gain one dice. Oh boy. So the more, the closer we get to rocking it, the better it is. The more he fights. So uh, this guy here will be my elite for this game so far, and that guy's there. And there is nothing more exciting happening during this round. So I'll give you the AI card. Thank you very much, And sir. then we're going to go into planning. So Joe's setting up our characters. And move that over just a bit in case uh, new people haven't seen it. There we That's go. Perfect. Okay, so while Joe and I are figuring out, you guys can take a look at the AI and the ship. Uh, Joe's setting us up one range one from the board. Now, you don't have to be all the way up. You feel free to be further back. No, but thanks. Respond we, we slower. I'm okay with that. So here's a question. <laughs> we get them from scan tokens again? Yeah. Okay. So we have to get within range one of the planet, so bumping into the planet's going to suck because then we have to go through the planet, right? Yeah, but I think you should use your Houndsman first turn. To four, five, get in there? Yeah. And then just hit the planet? Just get one off right away. That sounds like a great idea. No, I think that's a great idea. So I'm thinking if I go four and then one bank. I think you should go five and then hard two. I am really hoping that I get to Do you think five and hard two will get one off the, yeah. the survey team round one? All right, I trust you. You're, you're good. I mean, you are the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in... Stroke that ego a little. Oh, he's good, yeah. he's good. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is, uh, if you go to the close-up real quick, I'm going to show everyone the Helmsman card. This is the Helmsman card. Uh, I'm going to be disabling it during the activation phase to increase or decrease my maneuver speed by one, even if the result of the maneuver dial does not appear on the ship's maneuver dial. Luckily for me, the four appears on the maneuver dial, which is now a five. Yeah. I am now the Enterprise. <laughs> Being the not quite experienced player I am. You guys have both revealed your actions, correct? And the Excelsior. Well, we're, our captain goes up though, right? So yeah. I think these guys So I think first my guy gets to go first, yeah. the number one, because he's yeah. smaller and attack skill one. But we still can't change our dials. Regardless. No, no, no. I'm just making sure I understand. So yep. he gets so to now go, you, get to move. you guys get to go, and then finally my elite goes, correct? Correct. All What's right. the captain's skill of your elite? Four. Four. Yeah, then yeah. It is higher than the rest of you. So this little guy here is going to, that little guy that there guy is going to go. go. All right. Uh, so the what planet we is your target now. Uh, it still goes off of, yeah, target. So it's still three away, so I'm still going to use the black ring around here. Yep. If I was within one, I'd use the blue ring, or closing to two, I'd use the blue ring. Otherwise, it's black ring or retreating two. And I black would ring. say that it is in your left quadrant. I would agree. All right. So with a roll of a d6, you get a two, which gives us a two bank toward the planet. All right. Right and there. of course, we right do there. not set that up. He's going to just go over here, take a look at this. Uh, he's going to be going around that asteroid, that's for sure. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to take that from you, that there are no Federation ships within range, but he can still shoot the target. So I'm just going to put this lovely 
battle station token there. Now he does have to be in within range one to bombard. He does. That's correct. Thank you very much for keeping me honest. Ben is thirsty for blood. He I is. want to kill the civilians. They deserve talk it. about coming to someone <laughs> else's house. Yeah, it's right. Our planet. You literally are in those, my living room. Those poor Bajorans. It's our planet. They're not Bajorans. It is in my house. There's no Dominion people on there. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, pointing out we're it just is within to our blow dominion. These ships up. We discovered yeah. we discovered this planet. Yeah, in my as I like saying, there's food in your fridge, <laughs> yeah. but like you weren't okay. there, so yeah. so now we get to go. My food now. So if you don't mind, Joe, I'm gonna move four forward, but it's gonna be five. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, when you get a chance, no rush. Uh, State of the Federation was asking about the text on detection grid. No rush. Yep. If you get a chance. Uh, yep. I'll check it up right now real quick. Detection grid. The text is, if there is a scan token beside the ship during the combat phase, um, opposing ships that are both in range and in this ship's primary firing arc roll one fewer die when Toss defending it. against another friendly Toss ship. Toss close up for me real quick. There you go. There you go. Screen cap that if you want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I assume you're going to scan, Tom, because that's that what That would we're make about sense. Here. That was the plan. And yeah, then, absolutely. do we have a range, uh, one of the range rulers somewhere? Uh, you should uh, right there. One. I do. I have them both. I love them both. Okay, so I'm out of... Oh. I'm just in. Yeah, you're in. Okay, so I'm going to scan. You can grab too. and go. We could go right to mission three. This is interesting. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> Well, not necessarily. <laughs> We gotta turn around and, and uh, it's gonna be rough. And besides, uh, we're Federation. We're not just gonna leave one behind. It'll be dead by the time you return. Oh, uh, we'll see. All right, um, so then I get my last ships to move. Yep. Uh, he is in range three, so he is going to now, front arc. I think uh, for closeness, it's the planet still, yep. Four. Four, which is going to be three forward solid. Nice, uh, I'll, move, have... I'll move them for you. Thank you. So he will be able to evade. Or scan. Scan. Okay. Sounds good. That's that. I think uh, now we get to scan our tokens. You grab one, I'll grab the other. There we go. So we do, we're beaming them in. Well, this was just awful. Oh, it's not over yet. We gotta turn around. No, now I have to hunt you down to kill these civilians. Inject <laughs> nah. them into space. I'll make your death quick. <laughs> so we've done our scans. I believe it now is the end of the turn. So turn two. What happens turn on two. turn two? Uh, turn two, um, anyone with a survey team on their ship takes one damage. Turns out the survey team are saboteurs. Really? No. You're fine. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember this mission. I don't remember this mission. When did it change? That was going to be a big time hashtag. Blame <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that would have been a, is he watching? Because ban. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, so nothing happens on turn two. You're fine. Sick. Uh, let's plan. Oh, uh, gosh. I guess a hard two will be good, right? Mm -hmm. Do we want to go that way or this way to try and take this guy out? So he has to shoot me instead of uh, the planet. I have to go this way or... Oh my God, are we splitting forces, Joe? Because be... no matter what happens, if we leave, these two guys are going to go in and take that guy out. You should do a hard two. I should do a one bank and then we should come back, right? Yeah, and my hard my hard two is a white maneuver. So yeah. I can scan and grab the last guy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Sick. All right. So my guy gets to go first still, which is my number one. Yeah. He's still three away. So he's going to roll us as a three, and he is going to approach on a straight three. So that is probably going to change to a bank. Because it it's probably gonna... will change to no, a bank. No, he gets through it. Does that? Yeah. yeah, that's actually fine. He actually yeah, gets. Okay. He, now, hold he... on. Let me remove the asteroid from the asteroid yeah. field so you can take a look. But that? No, he'll clip it, so he will ah, move. So okay. it will change to a three bank. It will. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it will go. No, he's not going through there. He's going to go this way. So he's going to go that way. There he is. OK. Well, oh, penguins. He's avoiding he's the, in the wrong direction. And then I guess now he will he take. Get your moves. He can get shot at, potentially. Uh, according to this, you are not within range. He's so. scanning. Scan time. You are not within three, are you? Oh, you are. Yeah, but the plan's a blocked Just object. But barely. still, yeah. So You're still within three, so he'll take an evade. evade. That's correct. Okay. Um, I'll do my hard two now. Thank you, Joe. He's all set up uh -oh. nicely earlier. Uh-oh. Did I uh -oh. bump? You do. I don't think so. No, you're safe. Just, just shy of it. <sighs> 
That's tight. I'll uh, scan, even though I'm probably gonna get blasted by this elite. Now, you pass through the planet, do you take any damage for that? No, it's only, only if, if you, you, if you on land it? on the planet, what happens is you'll slide yourself back to the entry of the planet. There are different, there are different obstacles too in that you can fly through the planet and not lose your action. Yeah, gotcha. but you can't shoot through each other through the planet. It's considered a blocked action. So this mission's yeah, going are. pretty well for you guys so far. I'm pretty sure there's a few surprises on turn three. No, it seems like Josh would probably not have anticipated this move at all. <laughs> okay, I will do my uh, battle station uh, of eight. I think you're going to pick that up, right? Greatest ship mm -hmm. in Star Trek history. Okay. okay. So, now this guy gets to go. Yes, he does. I am now the closest. And you are in his front quadrant. Yep. You are not within three, but he will be closing two yep. at this point. So I will get the blue ring. That's good. He'll roll. It's a two. So he will go for one bank. Soft bank one. Look at that. A nice lineup here. That's good. Am I out of arc? You are out of arc. Looks but like you're You still have your dorsal now. array. So. What's on what? So I said it looks like you're range one, though. And then I got the dorsal array. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to get a battle stations. It will get a battle stations. Well, fire first. Actually, I believe you get rid of your scan first if you're picking that guy up. That's true. I have saved all three with oh, Joe's help. Uh, that happens before the combat phase. No, I'm saying you've moved their potential corpses onto your ship. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> They're saboteurs anyway. I won't yeah. that. I'm convinced. <laughs> Okay. He put the seed in our head. So I guess I may have wrong, read the line a little too early. Um, so he gets four dice to shoot at you. One, two, three, four. Uh, Battle stations turns this into three hits. Is that range one? Uh, he gets an additional dice for being range one. Yes. Okay. And what's his ability? Uh, it does not play a factor at the moment. Okay. He has okay. to have lost his shields, which I'm hoping to do on my turn. Um, okay. Well, I'll roll two two evade dice. And just easily evade one of those. So I'll take two my shields down. <laughs> you didn't need those anyway. Uh, shields are for people that survive. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a shot at this guy, I think. Oh, it's battle. Yeah, I'm going to take a shot at this guy, too. Uh, okay, you, 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 let's, go ahead, say you go ahead. let's say you have a higher captain no, skill because you're a player. We are not. Okay. Just the edge of it was on camera. Okay, ready? Right back at you, buddy. Clean and a crit. Crit hit. Hole. Two dodges. Wow. So nothing. We I got know, nothing. Yeah, he that Just one, like you. a DM. All right, you blast this guy to oblivion. Hit crit. Hit crit. Oh. Nothing. So he'll take one on the one evade to the, and one, one to the, the shield. shield. He's a little guy anyway. I want to get him off the board. All right. Okay, well, so then it's turn three. You're not within his arc. You are not. Okay. So turn three, the exciting things that happen on turn three. And I'm sorry for spoiling this. For everyone that has a survey team on board, they take one damage. The survey team is Dominion Saboteurs. Ha! I don't believe this. It's a lie still. Uh, <laughs> no, I just I just completely disbelieve. So no, nothing happens on turn three. We're good to go. <laughs> nothing happens on turn three? Okay. In case anyone watching didn't realize, Ben's kind of a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um. <laughs> oh man, um, I think I'm just hard twoing and then off the board, right? The uh, yeah, I it's an elite so. ship, so we're gonna have an issue here. But I'm thinking I hard two, and then I just I go for quality. Or I I was thinking I could also go four forward and see what happens. It's. The problem with four forward is it might baffle him, but if next turn a guy shows up there, then it's, it's <laughs> times are tough. Times sure are tough. So am I gonna go? Do I want a red maneuver and go a three? Maybe you should do a three bank. A three bank. Make him have to turn right, because then you can three bank and three bank. You're getting speed. He's got to turn and let's get do it. Range three three bank. Know? I'm right. doing a hard two. In hard two. So the first guy that gets to go is my little number one. So he gets. So he is. You guys outside of three, but this would be technically a closing two. Would it be? Uh, no, it's in three. But it's here's the problem three? is that uh, he doesn't want to go oh, for yeah, the planet three. anymore because we have the tokens. Yes. So, yeah, so, yeah, so the planet's no longer It is range three and he's directly three, on the so side. So he's in the black and he will get a one soft bank one over. It's actually pretty clever. 
That is not my soft one. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but he does get a battle stations. I don't know what's happening in your life that that's what she's telling you. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's us, right? Yeah, that's you guys. Who's going first here? What are you up to? I'll let y'all do it. Nice. It is an auxiliary move, but good, good move. Now, because you're behind that asteroid, I cannot shoot you, correct? You can. I just get an extra defense. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I need an ox token. Ox token right here for you, sir. Okay. Whew. Now, you travel Adrian, with you got those any, tokens, you got any right? tunes want to throw on? Uh, I can throw on some tunes. You I only lose it chance. by doing a green action? Correct. I didn't get a chance to make them spacey. That's fine. We can All just right. do something techy. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can... Uh, when you're on. doing your three bank, right? Yeah, I'm going to go for three bank. Looks at my neatly know, arranged you. lines of things, easy to find. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to bother with those. Yeah, we'll get, he'll be turning on me for sure, but I'm going to go for quality here. And okay. put myself a battle station. No, three bank was just a soft bank, right? It wasn't yep. hard. You don't get your... Nope. All right. Okay, captain of the... And All more right, higher let's captain. see what happens with him. You were in the front quadrant, but you were closing too, so I get the blue ring. It is a six. He is going to do a U-turn three. Yeah. Interesting. Actually, it doesn't look like he's going to do that. He can't do that because it'll bump. So, so he will do a hard three. Yeah, that will be the next thing. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so, just in case people are new and they're wondering, if it would set up bumping into an uh, obstacle, the uh, unit here would do the next thing it could. That would be a soft bank then. Oh, soft bank? I mean, that's even better. Soft bank here. The next thing it can to do it. Now, that's because the AI is chasing. not dumb. That's actually way better for, for the AI because he can hit me now and no, then chase me. No, he can't me. hit you. You were out of his arc. Yep, okay. Whew. But I can hit you. Yes. There's a shot there that's coming. There is. So let's fire that guy off. I get three dice for it, but you get one additional. Actually, attack. sorry. Tom should shoot first because he's got oh, yeah, that he captain's captain. upgrade. upgrade. Uh, his captain's go four. Nope, that's uh, for this that guy. Four. He doesn't get to shoot. No so. shot. Oh, yeah, right. You shoot. Then now he gets shoot. an evade, though. Three, two hits and a crit. I don't know. Uh, two hits and, sorry, one, two evades. Yeah, so one, one goes shield. through, just bounces my shield. Well done. Okay. You couldn't have taken both out. I, I had, appreciate you. I didn't have to spend out. this yet, so that's good. Range two, but an obstacle token, so two. Evades for me. All right. So I get, sorry, two dice, did you say? Three. Three. Three, okay. Your usual amount. Huh? Um, oh. And that turns into three hits. Joe, don't die again. Buddy. There we go. So one hit off your shield. Uh, okay, so I have two shields. So what did the uh, the asteroid do there? What was the event? You got an extra dice for it? Yeah, I so rolled two instead of... So you normally only roll of, one? Yeah. Okay, just check. This ship, yeah, this ship rolls one, that ship rolls yeah. two. Gotcha. I'm just making sure I understand what's happening. Okay. This is interesting. So, now that we've done all that, we're going to move to the next phase. So, turn four. What turn happens four. here? Does anything happen during turn four? I bet something happens. The survey team, which is actually Dominion Saboteur... No, I'm <laughs> going to roll You know what? There. I'm just executing <laughs> these survey teams. On two, another ship appears. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. There's another ship coming up. No, it is just a either. standard ship. I'm going far forward. I will call this ship uh, Gem Hadar Attack Ship. Yes. Uh, that's what I will call it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm for sure just going to go far forward, eh? Mm hmm. Or do I want a three bank again? Not far forward. Four forward for me. All right, so my little guys get to go first. As they only have Captain Skill 1. So the little Captain Skill 1 guy over there. So let's do that guy first. So he's in the front arc. Front arc. He is closing it on to a 3, which is a soft bank 1. Which actually, yeah, there's no way he can avoid no the obstacle. No way he can avoid the obstacle. But the soft bank 1 is pretty cool. Now, if that's going to put him into the other one, it, it won't. It does put does him it? into the other one. Then he's going to avoid that one. And he's okay. going to go for a straight one. Hard one, yeah. actually. No, he'll go straight one. Straight one? So, uh, chat thinks that that's one right of the survey the teams uh, picked up tribbles. Well, that would be lovely. So, Well, that's extra attack dice for a while before they <laughs> Yeah, so you're, you're just going to do the bank one. It's going to be no, a no, straight one. one. No, straight one still ends it on the clip of that. Well, that's fine, though. They, it, uh, they're, they're, they don't have hard ones. Yeah. There you go. It has, to, it has to. Now, these guys, according to this, there are hard ones on here. Oh, no, they're not. They're mm -hmm. hard threes. Yeah. 
So, so it'll go there. It's it's cause cause he's avoiding this one now, which is proper. So he'll you can stay roll. on that? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. You can roll a die. And if it's a hit, you take it. You take it. It is. Okay, so he will lose one shield. Clink. Oh, I'm going to put that shield over here because this one needs shields. There you go. Now this guy here is going to run. Yep. And, and so you're going to the front me. quadrant at three. Yes. So we're going to roll that. And it's going to be a two, which is a soft two. That's a good one. I'll do it for you. Thank you. Okay, so that sadly is going to put him toward the meteorite, but you will get a shot off on me. So, Well, it depends if you stay there. Because I have a feeling that you're moving. <laughs> See how the captain skill is changing this all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, your guys' movement. Who's the elite? This guy right here. He goes after me. So he hasn't gone yet. He has right? not gone so yet. So he's going to be on your tail. Yeah, he's going to be on my tail. I'm going to four forward and then do my cl do the classic bow stations. Yeah. I'm in a two bank, which is a green, mm. thanks to some Dominion intelligence I received <laughs> that they might just regret. <laughs> Clear my ox. <laughs> and I'll take the commander action to. Keep yourself alive so you can get all the experience. Battle station. Okay. So this is this is Josh's forgiveness it. campaign. This is the uh, the lull the lull the before lull. The, the next most this disgusting. Is, this is you got to get some XP in the first two. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Well, again, it's you guys are doing well. So now I have my last guy. So you he's are in the front quadrant still. Let's find out. You're more front quadrant than you are main, I think. No qua quarter corner all corner. Yeah, front quarter. Oh yeah, sorry, front more blank. than main. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna roll the dice here. You are closing two, so we will be blue. Five puts it as a hard two. No, I don't. I think he's out of the range three. He's closing to two. This would be correct for closing to two, wouldn't it? That's not a good AI move. No, it'd be is the other it, way. Is it other closing way? to two or is it closing at two? Closing, closing at, at, two, at two. two. Okay, so then it, it would be three then. Yeah. Okay, in which case, this five would turn into a soft three. Which is way deadlier. Yeah, that is way deadlier. Look at that. that that's good. That's good. Where's your battle stations token? Because you're going to need it. Oh, yeah. It's my battle stations token. The one I'm here. Too. Beside his. There you go. Yeah. Way deadlier. That is way All more right. like the AI. So you are out of this guy's firing arc, so he's pretty much done. So I'm just going to take this away from him. Am I? Yes, you are. I'm out of the. I'm not. I'm in the arc, but I'm out of range. Yeah, yeah. there's no way he can shoot. So he's, luckily, just take that away. If I had done the three bank, he um, would have probably. Oh, can maybe this he guy have shoot at you? Yes. yes. So he will have a battle station on him as well. He doesn't get anything. He hit the asteroid. Oh, that's right. He hit asteroid. That's why he doesn't have a. Token. And it's range three through an asteroid, so I actually get three dice. Okay, yeah, roll over there. Oh no, I get to shoot. No, no Captain Skill Four gets, gets to, to shoot, shoot first. Yeah. Yes, so I get four dice because you're within range. Oh of yeah, one. yeah. I'm, I'm, this, what is his bonus? Nothing yet. Okay, uh, nothing at the moment. If this was the guy who got to convert that blank, mm. you would you would be in. I'd be in big trouble. Well, he did two hits. hits and a crit, and I have no shields. Shields, but I do have two evade dice. That I will spend the battle station to evade one. So you'll take one damage and a critical hit. All right, so <clears throat> warp core breach. Hit. Warp core breach and not warp, warp core, core breach. breach. No, <laughs> this ship cannot perform actions listed in the action bar. Okay, so I'm just getting the hell out of here next turn anyway. Roll one attack die to heal it. So I'm not going to bother. So two hits on the hull. Sweet. This sounds too much like you can get away. Yeah, right. <laughs> this sounds like too much like I'm going to get away. It does feel that so way. So I guess we get to shoot next. I have no shot, so it's your shot. So I'm going to drop three into him. No oh. aid. Did you spend that? I did, to attack you. So you got one evade? I got one hit, so you evade. Okay. So that fight's a moot point. What's over here? That guy's firing three at me. And you get three dice to defend. Three oh. hits, one's a crit. So one, two Come normal on. hits, one crit. Total That's evasion, three. baby. Yeah, Four you evasions. evade them all. I think Stupid that's asteroids. it. Asteroids. I think the next turn we go, I think we're winning this. I'm not going to get. I'm turn? not going to get off, but you definitely. Uh, nothing on this next turn. So turn five. I'm three banking off. I'm four. I'm four and off the board. Four forward off the board, eh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Tom's going to be safe. So these little guys get to go first. Yes, they do. Hold on, Joe. These Can little you guys make it off the first. board with that? Sorry, no. That's what okay. I was just making sure. So let's uh, take a look. This guy's going to go first. You are in the front quadrant still, so three. he will run. He's going to get a three on this, and it's a soft two, which is going to put him through this no matter how we do this. Yeah. So he is definitely going through that asteroid. Yeah. That's the best move he wants anyway. So yeah. that's good. Roll so the, now uh, I roll a dice for it. 
He takes no, no damage. damage, but he gets no actions. Yes. That guy over there is in the forward arc, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Main arc. Forward arc. Main, main arc. Main arc. Three. Three. Uh, he is three still forward. Three forward. So. And he'll get at battle stations because he's going to potentially shoot. Yeah, he no, thinks he can get you, so he's going to try for it. Um, uh, a bunch over here. Right here. Alrighty. Then you move here forward. Still in range, I think. And take this. Almost off the board. You're out. I'm out. <laughs> Good luck, Joe. <laughs> Gone. Are you within range? I saved two people. Range. What was that we were talking oh. earlier about leaving your partners behind? Oh, what am I gonna do? Just sit here and get peppered? <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, two two betraying surveys. So here. this guy's gonna try to flip on him. I'm assuming, as we're in the last right. one here, he's at a three in the far oh, back, in the back here, corner, yeah. Which is a five, even though I fumbled that. Which is going to be a hard two. Yeah. Here, to whip around. Also, Thank you very much. my move. Yeah, that's a good move. Swish. All right. All right, so let's just use surviving this shot. Which, uh, which I don't I think, think you can kill you. full shield. Yeah, so there's no I way you can do it. All right, this is three hits. Two evades, one shield down. Still got shields. We out. Okay. Well, Bam. quick and easy that was. Dirty, simple, easy. That was, easy. what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Yep, that, the game was good. Supposed that was to, quick. Yep. We got so, the breaks. We did it. So here's what's really fun about this. Um, I was gonna talk about this on the uh, last time between the. Uh, I think you didn't bombard the planet at all. <laughs> <laughs> in the previous mission, in the entry mission, and in this mission, asteroid placement, uh, placing our characters anywhere different, uh, the starting ships being in rolling in different areas would have been a completely different game. Yes. Um, and the first missions, particularly, we went up on the side here. If we decided to go in the middle or on the other side, it would have been a completely different game. So there's a lot of replay value in each of the missions. And, and I think that different missions have different difficulties depending on the amount of players. Absolutely. I think the first mission gets a little, like you have some, a few more maneuvers you can make. So it's a little easier. It's hard with two, two players. This is a little easier because you only have three tokens. You know, you have four players. Well, we're not all getting to range one. Yeah, we've got five tokens. So it becomes a much each other. And, yeah, it yeah, becomes yeah. a much harder uh, scenario. Yeah. So I mean, uh, we're gonna. Well, hold on, actually, we forgot to do this. Oh yeah, what's the mission? The success. 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 Story here. Success. Success. The survey team is back in Federation space, safe and sound. And you're alive. We gained we a greater it. understanding of some of the unique settings of the Gamma Quadrant. Now, Straight here's up. an interesting thing that would happen because I don't know about this mechanic yet. If you had failed, the text reads, Starfleet Command cannot afford the loss of skilled personnel notwithstanding the valuable scientific information on the Dominion that was lost today. Increase Dominion influence by one. That sounds bad. Oh, God. So that sounds like it increases the difficulty as we progress. I think so. Um, now, I don't see where that would actually read no, into this, but I'm that. sure it's in the actual rule book. So we'll let's, let's sum up here. Let's sum up here. Um, what do you think? Well, you know I love it. <laughs> the, and, the, and I guess, so... The most valuable part of my perspective is how it's different uh, than competitive or what I like about it. That's different and I like that it's the back and forth and that it's like a simpler thing and rolling three attack dice actually matters and um, you know, you ha you get 10 turns in 20 minutes or whatever, right? Yeah. So it's very refreshing. It's almost like the golden age come again. And that's like when we first used to play attack yeah. when they say, yeah. And I mean, this is of course just an entry level product, right? This is our first like Dominion War, uh, you know, I, of course, everything is being spoken with a caveat and that nothing is promised, but uh, should, should this product do very well in the market, there are others, uh, developed at this stage, including additional Dominion War product, including, uh, you know, eventually introducing some other factions. And I'm, I'm excited to see something like this hit uh, the Board Game Geek community, to hit the Attack Wing community, because I'm, I know people are gonna start modding like crazy. This is a completely modifiable program for you to play, and we are gonna be adding more complexity or scope creep to it as it continues forward. So we will have gained, what, three XP for that? Two. We, two? Two. We got all three of them. And yes, for getting all three, you got an additional one, which put you up to two. You get half, round it up, and you get one point. Are you joking with us? No, I am not. This is right out at the beginning. Oh, can just I will like a read DM. this again. GM's in the Here words. We go. Um, if at least half, rounded up, of the mission tokens are collected, the survey team, 
Each player will receive one XP. Uh, if all mission tokens are collected from the planet, each player will receive an additional one XP. So half rounded up is two. Yeah, so if you got two, you would have gotten one XP. If you got one, you would have failed. Is that right? Yep. I thought half of three is two. Two, round it up. So if you got one team out only, that's less than half. You would have failed. The important thing was that you got out. If <laughs> we got, I had yeah. just got out, then we would have failed. So what we're going to do next time is we're actually going to put our XP together. And we'll, when we come back next next game, we'll uh, spend the XP accordingly. And then we will go into mission three and four. That is two Thursdays from now. We will be back again here. Next Thursday, we're playing Heart of Crown, thanks to Japanime Games. Uh, and then, of course, after that. But before that, we got to check out to see who wins. This Enterprise vintage game piece. We've got nine. We've got nine. nine. Entries. You know what? I'm going to roll this D12 and 10, 11, 12 will be a reroll. Okay. Ready? 11. That's the first reroll we've had. Yeah. Eight. Uh, eight would be squeaky. Squeaky! Congratulations, squeaky. squeaky. You squeaked in with the wind. <laughs> this is yours. Send a note to Adrian, and Adrian will. Uh, yeah, just wish, whisper us on Twitch, and we'll get back to you within. We'll get that thing packed up and so. shipped out to you. So, uh, on behalf of WizKids, thanks so much. Uh, sorry, on behalf of uh, Six Sides of Gaming, we want to thank WizKids for sending this uh, to us early to be able to play it for you guys to see. Please check out your local gaming stores and order copies. For yourselves, you can have up to three copies and still make, you could, you could put six or eight copies, it doesn't matter to me, because you can make it a giant battle. But you can definitely blend two or three copies together to create larger battles on the, on the field. It gets a little crazier when you got all extra ships on such a small play field like this. And, uh, and if you do, you know, check us out on all of our social media. Adrian, you can fire that Just all up leaves. there for us. We have a gleam going right now. I'm sure that went up as well. Two gleams. Uh, Two gleams. It actually hasn't. I will link that right now. Gleam is for some other board games that uh, we have as giveaways. That's free stuff. You can just enter it as you wish. And on top of that, please check us out tomorrow while we have Dungeons and Dragons online tomorrow night. And then on Sunday, a double header of Dungeons and Dragons, if you're interested in that. Actual a role-playing game here on Six Sides of Gaming. Monday's my true talk, which I will be talking about this again. And a lot more breakdown as to, as to how this came about. And I will give you the story as to how this came about. Okay? And then on uh, Monday night, Magic the Gathering. Wednesday, Shadowrun. And we'll be back here on Thursday for board games. Thank you, everyone, for your support. You've been uh, amazing. Richard for the gifted subs and everyone else who subbed and cheered. We love you all. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, guys. Have a great night.